What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? As you may well be aware by now, it's not just these public episodes we do here at Have A Word. We've also got a Patreon membership. But you know what? I don't want to give you any of the details about that today. And I know Dan doesn't either, because we're <laughs> here with our assistant to give us all the info we need. It's Peter, the Hello. Have A Word snake. Peter, you, Peter, why should people sign up to Patreon? Because we all want a new Bugatti. Yeah, okay, that's that's a good reason. But what do the what do the lids get if they sign up at, at, for as little as three pounds a month? Uh, they get a, an extra episode once a week. Oh, the Wednesday patron exclusive, which is some of our favourite podcasting. What else do they get? The yeah. early release, Peter. They get early release, forty eight hours, unless Finn's fucked it. <laughs> And then they also get, <laughs> and then they also get the patron specials. And which are... once I was in Paris, right, and I had to fly home and delete the early access because someone wasn't happy. So maybe that happens again, but you know, doesn't always happen. You've been doing some editing, Peter. <laughs> I've got no opposable thumbs. Down. I couldn't possibly edit. Just do it with your nose. Specials are good as well, aren't they? I think this is the one, by the way. I think we should keep doing it. <laughs> I do as well. So the specials that have gone out, there's loads of lock-ins. There's the ghost Oh, ones. the lock-ins are legendary. We the now restaurant about special. Lock the restaurant special. We've got uh, the rugby league special. We've got uh, the football special. We crashed a car. The specials are now monthly, and they are legendary. It is the best three pounds a month you will ever spend. We're you also get like discounts on merch and stuff and that. access to the entire back catalog. I was actually going to say I was going to kill myself, but no, it's fine. Carry on. If you don't sign up, I'll end it. What? <laughs> no, yeah, whatever Adam was Patreon. saying. Patreon.com slash have a pod. No. Shut up, Pete, you stupid. No. Thanks, Lids. Enjoy the episode. Wag Wag Lids, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go Ed, get on me. Fucking hell. I'm doing dry January. <laughs> <laughs> now wait for the caveat. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to need a bigger bear, homeboy. Except. No, I'm doing dry January. On your birthday, you're not drinking. I'm going for, I'm going to, I haven't told you yet because I wanted it to be a surprise. But uh, I'm just going to go for a big meal. And if we all want to go out afterwards, I'll go out. And I'm going to, I'm going to not drink for the whole of January. Uh, so. Tell my man, shut up. <laughs> what are we in? Amsterdam, though. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do a bit of puff. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought there was a bit of puff. Oh. <laughs> are you smoking it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. What, what are you doing, injecting well, it? A bit of puff. Are you injecting marijuana? No, I'm going to be eating it. <laughs> oh, edibles. No, not edibles. Sorry, what? I'm just going <laughs> to just eat weed. You're going <laughs> to eat weed. Oh, you're going to find out that there's a much better option there. I'm going to be bum dropping marijuana. <laughs> I used to do it in the clubs. I did it once in the clubs. It was horrible. I had to wash my finger for 45 minutes. You uh. bum dropped weed? <laughs> no. <laughs> in popped the club. A pill, popped a pill right up there in the club. What, you fingered in your ass in the I club? I fingered my ass in the club on the advice of my best friend, and, and I was never right the whole night. I mean, I was high. Question. When you bum drop a pill, yep. does it sort of worm its way up to your stomach and that's how it works? Or does it just stay in your asshole and your asshole gets high? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question. I'm glad you asked it. Thanks for asking me, because I am Dr. Bumlove. Um, I don't think it worms your way. I don't know. I think it's like, just I'm just thinking of gravity. Do you know what I mean? Gravity. Like when you eat a pill, gravity helps it get to your stomach, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not your stomach, I mean, though, it's Yeah. Blood, it's your bloodstream. Probably. Yeah, I suppose so. I yeah. Honestly, I did it once and it was really not comfortable. I not... Not that I was particularly gassy that night, but you, I think if you've got IBS, feel like you're gonna fart a fiver out. Bum dropping a pill is a waste of time because, like, it's coming back out again. Like exactly, like I, I could just <laughs> need a shit five minutes later. Hang on, can't you put it up your bollocks, like under your bollocks? Have we been demonetized instantly <laughs> for this? <laughs> oh shit, to public. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's I think it just goes in your bloodstream quicker, yeah. but I don't know how that works because, yeah. Anyway. Grim, but I'm going to do that with weed. Could you not put it down I'm your man's eye? I'm, what? Oh. Down your man's eye. Uh, the penis hole. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That work? I think you can, you know. Shut up, Finn. I think you can. Oh, can you here put it he in goes. Your ears? Here he goes. Real.co.uk. Both of your ears. <laughs> oh, Get out, Rick. 
Can you stick a drugs in your pee pee hole? <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> uh, can you check I'm not a robot? Robot and I was Google ever. Could you check everything with a robot in, please? <laughs> All right, Finn. We're on Alprostadil urethral. Uh, it's to stop um, erectile dysfunction. A urethral suppository. I've ruined everyone's day. I'm so sorry. I just mentioned I didn't really want to fucking bum drop marijuana, and now we're looking at urethral. Little. How are you getting anything down that? What? Cock holes are little, aren't they? Big cock, little hole. Eighty percent absorption in the first ten minutes of urethra. Oh, oh fucking shit. hell, mate! Woo. You can drink, drink down your cock. You'd be bladdered. Have you never opened your cock hole? Have a little look in. <laughs> I just I have It would hurt my back But obviously you can just like Oh, <laughs> oh yeah Fucking hell lad God I'm inside my own dick <laughs> Where would you come out Down your mouth Or your arsehole um, <laughs> uh, So yeah uh, I'm going to be Edible I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna try and not do weed I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be mushroom Truffles yeah I don't want a whitey So I want to control it From the, be- the bottom oh, you I'm not going Edibles is the wrong choice Alright will you help me then I will I'll do I will, I'll then I'll will be your shaman do a bit of puff. Oh, We'll do the like, balloons What is it It's called the volcano It's not It's like a um, It's like a job When kids have inhalers They can't do them properly The big bubbles they have I used to have that yeah, Carl, like, like the big. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to see you go for it here, Carl, because you know you've got a bucket list. <laughs> I've crashed I, the I'll car add, into a wall. Well, last, I, no, I, you've I got, don't want to get past it off your twat in Amsterdam. I will, but I'm I, really. I'm ev- saying like everyone, everyone's seeing me high in the rest of my. I had some grey <laughs> day pot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's old news. We need to see you. <laughs> no, but I'll be working up from the bottom. I'm not going. Yeah, I'll, I'll have fucking seven blondes. <laughs> That's what he'll do. Carl, we're, we're there for a day and a half. What do you mean? We're working up from the he, bottom. What do you think he's going right, to do? Right, 7am, I'll just take five milligrams. By brunch, I'm on 15. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm a fucking smackhead. We all know you're going to be sensible. You're a sensible man when it comes to intoxication. Can but I? you can't be like, oh, lad, no, I'm not doing it. You've got to, we want to see something. But yeah, I'm not drinking while I'm there. I am doing dry January. You're not meant to drink and fly though, are you, as they say? I'm off, I'm off. I'm off the liquor. Ah, uh, look at that! It's on. Do not. It's disturb. your mum. Yeah. Answered it. No. Answer the it phone. Might be for me. Yeah, I get pretty annoyed now when phones go off. I'll give you that. I've been getting annoyed about Mine it for a while. Mine has never gone off. But if I know, but if it's your mum, that's different gravy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Poirot's not working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 After the episode where he's unemployed. Point. What? What, what was that? Oh, Finn, Finn, <laughs> Poirot's not working. That's that met. was quite good. Yeah. Oh, Finn. <laughs> oh, Finn, I can't get it working. <laughs> She's very well. She turn. That right. wasn't me, that one. That was him. Oh, of course it? it fucking was. It didn't make a noise. Just turn your fucking phone off. <laughs> Turns the phone off. It's like 1942. What are you on about? It's a podcast. Turn your dick off. Unplug phone from wall. Let me go to or bed. Or turn it off. Or turn it to silent. Stick it, it down your silent. dick. It is silent. Stick it down your dick it all It is on silent. My <laughs> nest has just said there's a person at my front door. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when we haven't been in for a week. I'm going to bum drop your phone. That's where that's going. I'll be like, oh shit. Carl's build is in. Oh, it's just on vibrate. Yeah. Anyway, happy new year. Oh, yeah, doesn't it? Happy year. new year. Happy new year. Cheers to you. Cheers. What a year. Pele's dead. How was, was your Christmas year? day? Uh, great. Got absolutely shit faced. I drank yeah. through my dick hole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruined my mother in law's Christmas. Your nachos look burned. Yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> just pissed. My mate Claire came round and uh, I was distracted and I was drunk. And I was gonna make a real like, th- like show of how nice my nachos are. Fucked it right up. But you know when you're drunk, nachos are uh, great anyway. Burn. Oh yeah, it's fine. They weren't like they weren't ruined. But yeah, I got to about lunchtime on Christmas Day. My my mother-in-law, her partner Rob, and my brother-in-law had been there from the 23rd, and I have been trying not to drink because I don't want to get on it. And that's only happens in Liverpool, doesn't it? Or sometimes when I'm out in Chester. Can't happen. I can't. It's Christmas. I can drink at home. So I just went for it. I'd got some mojitos in. Finn brought me a pre-mixed mojito thing. But I also had some uh, rum and some mojito mix. So I started doing it on um, Instagram stories. 
and I just had such a good time with it and it just descended into me sexually assaulting my gay brother-in-law. Um, it was a lot of fun. Hang on. One of my best Christmas days. What? You what? He sexually assaulted his gay brother-in-law. Oh, sorry, carry on. <laughs> yeah, I just sort of, you know, you know when you're drunk, you're like, hey. When you're drunk and there's a gay man around, so you feel his cock. Is that what you did? Yeah, a little bit. My, my wife was trying to watch Call the Midwife. I ruined that for her. Pissed heckling of your wife's favourite TV show. <laughs> oh, mwah, for oh, you, yeah. Oh, it's fucking great. Just, just lying on the floor going, oh, God. Oh, brilliant. It's great. Yeah, Call no, the what's... midwife is boring <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. So Who? that was a great Christmas day. I did get jealous of seeing you in Pogues, though. <laughs> I went to pub. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the picture of it when I was pissed. I was like, right, Uber. Honestly, <laughs> I reckon that might be the best Christmas day I've had since I was a kid. It was just... Wonderful. Cooked me dad and my brother dinner, and uh, that was great. And at five o'clock, and I knew Pogues opened at six, they were like, oh, I think we might have to go, you know, because I'm either going to sleep here or not ours. And I was like, I will get you a taxi now. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh, I rang a, a Delta because they had the dog with them. Simba come for Christmas Day. Uh, made them a load of pigs and blankets. Oh, yeah. Made everyone else a roast because I made lamb for me roast dinner. And it, I, I, I fucking, I garlic the shite out of me lamb. Do you know what I mean? Right. Garlic and lamb are like a marriage made in fucking Winchester, mate. Everyone fucking loves a bit of garlic and lamb. So you can't give that to a dog. Because dog, know. if dogs have garlic, dead yeah, dog. Stinks. Right? Um, you can't so- kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's the you old thing. You kill dogs. Yeah. Fucking gimpy dogs, aren't they? can't have grapes either. Or chocolate. Or chocolate. What are they on about? Yeah. That, bones, that, you can't, can't enjoy the old grapes, garlic, and chocolate Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> I had all three of them on Christmas Day. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course Not at the same time. No. Oh, no, okay. no cheese board. Part of your cheese board. Yeah. Oh, the cheese board I had will chip. That was a bastard. That. I had it? a cheese board on Christmas Eve. I had a cheese board on Christmas Eve. That was me tea on Christmas Eve, a cheese board. And about 17 old fashions that I made myself. And by the way, I make a fucking doozy of an old fashioned mate. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, Can't so. give them the dog either. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Fucking stupid dogs. I got the dog his own, like, packet of pigs and blankets. Oh, yes. So he, he had a fucking tray of pigs and blankets. He loved me. But the, I, I rang uh, Delta, the taxi company, and I was like, I need a dog-friendly car. And he was like, oh, mate, you're going to be looking on waiting a while, there, especially in town, like, for a dog-friendly car. And I was like, yeah, just as quick as you can, lad. Don't worry about it. Put the phone down. 20 seconds later, I got phone back going, hello, mate. Got the fucking taxi outside, mate. Fucking your dog. Taxi. And I was like, it's not job. It's just Have you come dog. from Dublin? <laughs> I love my... Yeah, they did that to us in Nando's before Christmas, didn't they? It's going to yeah. be about 15 minutes. Sat down. Dan, three. It was amazing. <laughs> fucking straight away. Why are you trying to put people off? Go on, sorry. Um, so then I got me glad rags on. Went to Pogues. Walked in. Jack Finnegan's just sat there, just waving at me. Just like uh, a good wife waiting for his husband to come home from war. I was like, how are we, lads? He was like, yeah. Uh, he was like, I've had like 17 Guinness. I was like, I'm about to have the first of 17. I put so much Guinness away that Carl knows, because you've known me for a very long time, Boxing Day has always been a big deal to me. Yeah. Boxing Day is footy, booze, breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in the pub. Right. Right. Boxing is the pub that makes it. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it's Christmas Day's not the pub. So, my mates Josh and Steve, me and Carl went to school with. And St- Carl's known Steve since like the first day of reception. Yeah. And I've known Josh since the first day of reception. Like, not our Steve. No, no, no. no, no, Steve, no. I don't like we're, that. We're really like a good <laughs> group of lads. But oh, me, Josh, and Steve, Christmas Day, yeah, Boxing Day has been our thing for like going on a decade now. We just know 12 o'clock, we're in the pub. Big brekkie, start drinking, footy, bets that you know you're going to lose. It's just fucking... Christmas Day, your family, Boxing Day, your boys. It's just fucking wonderful. So I met them in the pub. It was me, Josh, Steve, and Josh's half fella. And all of us, like I turned up, Josh and his dad was already eating their breakfast because I was about half an hour late. Steve was like, hi, before I come out. So I ordered the breakfast and I got us all a bottle of Corona. And like 45 minutes later, none of us had finished our first Corona because we were all rough as fuck. <laughs> And then I was like, I'm going to switch drinks. I tried everything to get in the mood on Boxing Day. Like, everything. I had a Corona. Then I had, uh, I, I think I tried to have a pint of lager top. That didn't work. I then got a Copperberg mixed fruit. And halfway through that, I was like, <laughs> fucking hell, mate. Halfway through that, I was like, I've nailed this. This is going well. Finished that one, I was like, I think if I have one more of them, the sugar, I'm going to be back on it. This is going to be great. So we, we changed pubs then. 
and I got to record it because like, I didn't have copper bag. And I had that. And I was so like, sugary, aren't that was too. That was too much. By the way, if you can do a whole night on copper bag or record hell, a leg, no. what is going on with your fucking Mr. blood sugar? Uh, finish that record <laughs> leg. <laughs> got a gin and tonic as another switch up. That didn't work. Got a rum and coke. That didn't work. Then I thought, you know what? I tell you what, you're a trier, Adam. I, I did try. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to get a Guinness and see if that works. And that didn't work. So in the end, on Boxing Day, I didn't really end up drinking. Right. Dry January will go well, though. <laughs> How many units in were you get when you gave up? About 17. Well, I went home for the Liverpool game. I watched the Liverpool game at home, which was a half five. Kick-off. What you've done there is you've used up all some of the energy and excitement that you usually have in Boxing Day by being in Pogues on Christmas night, isn't it? I have started a tradition now. I will be going to Pogues every Christmas night until it doesn't open. Yeah, it's a fucking great boozer. It was no, no, the, the, the energy in there was just everyone not as good was as Rubber Soul. The rubber Soul. Yeah. Why did you have the Rubber Soul? It wasn't open. Oh, I did check there first. Fair loss on Matthew. Um, sold out. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, but the energy in there was great because it was just full of people who were just really, really happy that they had an excuse to get away from their families. Do you know what I mean? Like people kept arriving, going, "I'm fucking amazed off this is everything because me fucking auntie is about to kick off." Can I just say, you know, I've rolled in with a pretty chipper energy. That's a, the exact same energy right here. I'm at work. Laura's like, have you got work? I was like, I have. I left going, because I've been in for a fucking week. But you know, like when you're in a pub and you like, you end up in like a group of like 20 people and you don't know everyone, but you know about eight of them. But those eight all know another eight and through, you're essentially like three groups that form like a big super group. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And none of us were in a round. We were just getting our own drinks. Nice. But what we were in a round of was shots of baby Guinness Ooh. or honey tequila. Oh. So every time someone went to the bar and got themselves a drink, what's this? There's a honey, honey tequila. It was oh. delicious. Um, every time someone went to the bar and got themselves or them and their mates a drink, they would come back with like twenty shots, and everyone would have a shot. And I was absolutely blitzed. Lovely. And that's why boxing they got ruined. But it was fucking worth it. All I, the last thing I remember, I don't remember actually leaving Pogues. But I remember being halfway between Pogues and home and just uh, running around singing uh, the Mane song. Mane Scoring, all around us. The anti Everton song, the Liverpool song. I was just literally running around town just doing that on my own. Did you That's experience any Christmas That's racism? What? what? Did you, there's always Christmas racism. Excuse, Excuse me? With the families? Did you get with the whole family together? No, none of my family. Oh, we, did, we did oh, some in tribute. I, I, I can't believe. I took that the wrong way then. I was like, I haven't suffered any racism. <laughs> like someone was like, here's your turkey, you fucking white. <laughs> Laura. <Here's... laughs> Genuinely, that was the most white response to that question. Like, no, no one's racially abused me. <laughs> oh, I've been lucky. You must have had some. Uh, no, my granddad is in a home now. So uh, An all he, white is, home. he is really... Is all white. Is what? Is it an all white home? It's very not all white. It's in Deepdale in Preston. It's not all white. I mean, it's just... It's like Michael Barrymore, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, but in both ways. It's not all white racially. It's not all white. If Michael Barrymore was saying it, he'd be like, it's a shithole. Um, I, I, I saw some racism. Like, no. From your from within the circle? Oh, elderly ones, yeah. Oh, Lord. How many people do you have Christmas with? Oh no! It was. In, I mean, in the circle of Christmas, not necessarily Christmas Day. When you go, when you go and visit, Christmas is like a week long for me. It's yeah. still Christmas now. I think. Mm, my sister visited yesterday, and I po- I just mentally that was the end of the presents. Boxed off. This coming back to work today, I've like took the Christmas deckies down. I feel like that is Christmas. Now we're into the New Year's sort of banner, aren't we? New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's still Christmas. You know, it's just like you know them. I mean, she was an Indian. You know, and you know, you know what they're like. That kind of shit. They've learned to like smooth the edges down, but you still see the visceral hatred behind the eyes. No, no, it's we've got a younger demographic now. Or because I'm ten years older than you, it's so that's me. Te- by the way, talking to my granddad, I'm saying them. Oh, right, oh, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> oh no, I didn't suffer any racism because you weren't part of my Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Christmas was racism and homophobia free because I didn't see you. <laughs> Same because I. I'm not either of them things. <laughs> <laughs> on, Christ- on Christmas Eve, we um, put um, put the kids, de- were like, Etta went to bed 
fucking like hyped. And we put all the Christmas presents under the tree. They'd been in the loft so that, because she's young enough that we've got to do the Santa's reel. So there's no presents out until she's gone to bed and then she comes down and there's a big reveal. I mean, Jack sort of got that it was exciting. He's too young to to know what's happening. So I was the last one up on Christmas Eve. Can I just stop you there? That is actually how I got the fact that Santa isn't real out to me mum when I was a kid. Because she would always just put the presents under the tree in the build-up to Christmas. And it was always like, oh yeah, San- those boxes are empty. Don't touch them. And Santa comes down on Christmas Eve and he he puts the presents in the boxes. Mm. And uh, yeah. And, and one time I just went and just picked it up and it was obviously fucking That's on heavy. the PlayStation. And I was like, mum, these have got stuff in. Oh, there's a few Christmases where I um, I was a bit older and I knew this was like maybe when we were about 12, 13, 14, where I got really good. Mum used this like sellotape that sort of, it was almost like a, a bit softer than normal sellotape. And you could, if you were so careful, I just took like my Game Gear games out and had a little play and then put them back in and completely Ooh. ruined the excitement of Christmas. Oh, that's, I, I found me Christmas presents once before she wrapped them. That's the worst Christmas ever. Yeah, it's not. Awful. It's not good. So we're trying. I think we've got maybe a y- another Christmas b- before Etta goes. Yeah, this is bullshit. She's already started. Have you blamed them for eating? Yeah. She. Well, we got it. We got to avoid. Like my sister did this a few years ago with my with my niece. She was like constantly like, if you do wrong, Santa is going to do this. Santa will watch. You'll get no presents. She just went a bit heavy with it. And uh, Amelia, my niece, was shit scared of Santa. She thought he was like this weird, like, you know, like Catholics are to God, very judgmental sort of like guilt thing. She got a bit too scared of him. So she, we've all, we've learned from that. And like my sister's not doing that as much. So I don't do it loads. I want her to be excited about it. But Laura's right. You've got to get the presents down without her ever seeing them. Because yeah. she walked in and it was a real like, what the fuck moment. And, and we had a little plate with a carrot and a mince pie. So we took a couple of bites out of the carrot uh, my brother-in-law smashed the mince pies. So that looked like it had been attacked. Great. And then because we're getting a, um, a, a log burner in, in our, like, um, what would you call it? In the fireplace. We've just had it, like, uh, with the the chimney. We've had a temporary block thing in, which is like a little, it's like a balloon that you blow, like a plastic balloon that you stick in the chimney. You blow it up with the little thing. You close the valve and it blocks off the chimney from draft or soot. And about a month ago, I noticed that it deflated a little bit and the sort of valve was hanging down. It's been one of those things that I'm like, I need to just sort that out again. And I just before I went to bed on Christmas Eve, I was like, if I was a kid and you were like, yeah, Santa came down the chimney and put all the presents there, I'd be like, yeah, but why is that valve thing there from that thing that dad stuck up there? It's in exactly the same place. I was like, I'm going to just add to the magic of it and I'll, I'll pull it out. I'll deflate it a little bit, pull it out. There'll be a bit of soot. And I'll put it on the side and I'll go, bloody hell, Santa's come down and knocked my, you know, the chimney thing down. So I deflated it, pulled it. I've never seen so much fucking <laughs> soot and <laughs> shit that's, that's what it's fall out. Oh my God. It like, I pulled it. I was like, uh, I instantly, I just dislodged it. So much shit came down. I was like, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> but I was like, I've got to do it properly now. We haven't moved this thing for a year and a half. I pulled it. A oh. fucking ton of stuff came down. I was like, okay. And then I couldn't clean it up. So I was like, Laura's going to be fucking fuming. It was enough that it actually went on the plate with the carrot. So I had to take that, take the fucking carrot, and I had to clean the plate so it was back. Oh, my God. Put it down. In the morning, we did the, we did the, the uh, what they call stockings on the bed. And, and just as I was getting excited, I was like, I've just got to tell you something, Laura. I did pull the uh, the chimney block thing out and there is a little bit of soot, but I think it'll be it'll be fine. She was like, how much mess have you made? I was like, quite a lot. But it, it's got, I think it's going to be good for believability. So we all went downstairs, got a coffee. For Laura? <laughs> yeah. We went in the living room. Etta came in. She walked in. The first thing she saw was the fucking mess and the thing. And I went, oh, Santa. And she went, oh! Oh, he is real! Yes, <laughs> mate. It's fucking Sick. quality. And then she turned to the present. It was the best. Kids Even Laura. Stupid. Laura definitely <laughs> wanted to bollock me. Definitely wanted to bollock me. But because like, Etta was like, oh my God, he is real. I was like, yes. We did a quick hoover up. Oh, fuck. The fear as all that soot came out. Oh, it's brilliant. She had a great Christmas. Our fireplace. It might be our last one with, where she believes. Our fireplace was electric when I was a kid. 
So I was very inquisitive as a kid. It used to drive me dad fucking mad, but he also sort of liked it. He seen it as like a sign of intelligence. I would always ask like questions about anything I wasn't sure about. Yeah, it's smart. So when I picked the presents up, my mum was like, uh, that was like years later. But she was like, yeah, look, you can't tell Jack, but it's all bollocks. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Adam, Adam, you're fucking four now. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> It's a load of shite. <laughs> Santa's not real. And you know what? Neither is Easter Bunny. Fuck um, you. But obviously the, the, the old adage is that he comes down the chimney. But our chimney wasn't real. And I knew that. Right. Um, when I was a ki- like even young. Because uh, I'd asked like in the middle of the year and then put two and two together. So I, I'd asked in like, let's say it's fucking June about like the chimney and whatever. And I knew, I remember it quite well. I must have been like five or something, six. I've got like weird little memories from that age of being a kid. And I was like, uh, I'm I'm thinking about Santa, even though it's the middle of the year. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, Dad, why why did you never see anything coming out of our chimney? He's like, oh, just, our chimney's not like, doesn't work. Like it's in our um, fireplace is electric. So yeah. it, it looked so like fire. Up. And he was like, yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't work. And I was like, all right. So. And that's me just like as I'll a lawyer b- building the case. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, li- I'm literally like setting an entrapment for me dad for when December comes. And I'm like, so Santa comes down the chimney and he's like, yeah, I was like, the chimney's blocked up and that's electric. So how's he coming out of that? And I remember just seeing me dad look at me mum and being like, he's fucking got us. And my mum goes, no, Santa does try and come down the chimneys, but if it's an house like ours, he can't get down. So he just comes in the back door. So they, they would leave the back door open. Oh my God. On Christmas morning. And be like, oh, he's been and he's left the back door open. <laughs> He's fucking got all these footprints. <laughs> I told you what I was doing Santa. I didn't let him in the house. I was terrified of him. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, this old fella comes in, I'm a kip, eats all our scran, and then bails, and he's magic. Mum was like, yeah, I was like, not in my house. <laughs> I was like, you fucking mad. Five-year-old Carl staying up with a gun. No, literally, like three, I was like, I don't want this fella in my house. In, when I'm in bed, she was like, oh, yeah, it makes sense. I was like, he's not coming in, but I want presents. So my mum bought me a Wendy house, and he'd visit that instead. He'd leave me presents in the garden. So I'd go out to the garden. In a the Wendy garden. house? Oh, like a in like, the garden? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. I'd go out. I know my presents would be in the Wendy house, and I'd, I'd bring them all in the house. I'd be like, how cool he hasn't been in while well, I've been a kid. Right. Switched on me. I'm a fucking practical kid. I don't want anyone coming in the property. Every DPD, Amazon, <laughs> and fucking Santa just give a big box there. Fucking padlock. Yes, yeah, so me and Adam are just smart kids. Well, yeah, with, with the, like, the Santa Claus, the movie with Tim Allen... The way they get around it is that because Santa's magical, whatever the size chimney, he squeezes into it. And then even if you haven't got a chimney, as he comes down it, it magically becomes a fireplace. He delivers a presence, goes back up. But of course, yellow. It, you know, you are, I'm you're right. It. I can't believe I believe that. Have you blamed him for anything yet? Like if she opens it and goes, oh, this is shite. Oh, Santa, you dickhead. No, she didn't. She was pretty good ab- about <laughs> being excited with everything. Better. <laughs> shite, this fucking shite. <laughs> Hang on, did he come on the property? I'm speaking to my uncle Carl. It's fucking bollocks. Why are speaking a Scouse accent? Well, you know, get on me. Get things done, lad. Get on me. Get on me. Um, it I was hate really that, good. I hate that I don't love, I love Christmas, but I hate that I don't get the, the butterflies on Christmas Eve anymore. Obviously, because I'm a good old man. Yeah, but Carl, it's so, when you've got kids... You sort of see it through their eyes. I, I, before Etta turned up, I used to try and spend Christmas with my uh, my sister because she had kids. And then I remember before that when you just like it's just sometimes we visited dad or whatever, and you just wake up and you're like hungover and no one really gives a fuck and you've given each other a spending thing so much you get a bit of the magic back. I know, like I was relieved because I'd made a mess. But to see Etta go, oh, it's really fucking dead excited, so made up. You get a bit of the magic back. I mean, we got we got Wallace some presents. Yeah, and was he like, oh, lad, it's real? Yeah, he was running around like he was made up, loads of stuff. To be fair, Wallace is pretty happy to just go anywhere though, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time he comes to work, he's like, fucking hell, I'm here. <laughs> and then Adam's the cutest person ever. Every time Wallace, uh, uh, Carl's dog turns up, Adam gets down to his level. I've never seen Adam be so cute with anything. <laughs> it's Adam Rowe, you know Adam. Every time he goes, Wallace! <laughs> <laughs> Wallace! He's such a fucking cutie with I like dogs, dog. mate. Do you like dogs? I like dogs. I'm gonna get a dog in uh, Oh, summer. I like dogs. Yeah, uh, we got a, we got a dog at possibly the worst time. 
because it's hard to walk them, train them in the garden because it's raining. It is what it is, isn't it? No, Someone no, was going to get him. And yeah, you no. meant to get him. He's, he's a belter. I'm just saying so. it's easier to get them in the summer because you've got... It, it's easier to... I'm going to get my main summer holiday out the way. And then... Uh, yeah. Uh, is it that our summer holiday? No. I'm going to Mexico. When? Uh, <laughs> like the... the for the last week of June slash the first week oh, of July, cool. 10 I'm days. To, I'm going to Japan for three weeks in August. I haven't told you that yet, but I've told you now. All right, cool. It's going to be a... I'm going to Morocco for six months. <laughs> six oh, yeah? months? Oh, I didn't tell you. Finn's here, by the way. I was going to tell Time you. Time to find a wife, oh, Finn. I'm going the moon in October as well. Fuck oh, off. the moon. Oh, yeah. Only for he, the weekend. Are you doing a tour show there? <laughs> no. Yeah, it feels like you should. Only for the we weekend. Sell, we'd sell tickets on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, now, now I've been I've been putty footing around town. You won't be here for three weeks. Sorry, in August. In August, I think I'm. Th- this isn't confirmed yet, but I might be doing the full run at the Edinburgh Festival. But I'm going to come back for the records. <laughs> I can't come. Just back. Just me and you, Dan. Fine, that'll sell. <laughs> yeah. Numbers have gone down. <laughs> <laughs> Finn just Finn and Dan just talking about Poirot. Now I'll do stuff from Japan. I'll I'll send stuff back. You going for three weeks? Yeah. Yeah, you can't go for two weeks. It's too short. No, you can't. You can't. No, it's okay. the law. You How's your um, ass blaster, by the way? What? <laughs> Toilet seat I got you. Oh, t- yeah. It's the best thing that anyone's ever bought me, and that's not an exaggeration. Yeah. Now, when it comes to a very modern, expensive Japanese ass cleaning, ass blow drying toilet, that's a thing I just said at work. <laughs> <laughs> um, when your dad's over for Christmas, uh, and your brother's over for Christmas, is there a rule where they're not allowed to have their no, a- the opposite. asshole jet stream? Everyone who's been in my house, no, I've I keep, told them to go and use I it. I keep inviting people around to come and yeah. have a shit in mine. I'm not, he's not even joking. I've been doing the same thing. People, I keep, sa- I keep telling people, oh, you got to come around and have a poo in mine. Right, so <laughs> if you're not a patron of Have a Word, oh, I'll go on. Um, what... You need Carl to, got me a toilet Christmas seat for special. Christmas that is, is essentially a built-in electric bidet and it, it cleans your asshole for you. And dries but, it. And dries it. But it doesn't just clean. If it's lit, It licks I, it. It basically it does, though. like it is. Yeah. There's basically there's a, a fucking Japanese rim like... jobs-like section. Yeah. Like, I've got rim, job, rim jobs on demand now and she's not allowed <laughs> to say no. She. Yeah. It's oh, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not having a man look at me, asshole. <laughs> Is that, hom- to- is that homophobic? I think no, that's that's not really, is it? No, I'm not gay. Yeah. I don't want a man looking at my it's, asshole. It's just heterosexual. Yeah, what if you loved it? <coughs> what if you loved it? Were you like, oh my God, it is better. Oh, yeah. his mustache. It's, uh, maybe. It I look be. forward to going for the poo. I do. If I wake up needing a poo now, like in the past when I've woke up needing a poo, you know when you'd like wake up at like, and you're like, oh, I've got to go to the fucking toilet. I wake up now and I go, oh, I've got to go to the oh, hey, hey, poo time. The toilet also, seat is 39 degrees, as is the water. So now you've got it. IBS and you enjoy shitting. Yeah. That's a dangerous combo, isn't it's, it? It's a wonderful combo. It's changed me life. I told you. I cannot People explain to you. I'm so happy someone else how knows. How good it is. Right, so. It does change your I'm life. I'm not trying to ruin things, but of all the people you know. Yeah. You uh, have got a career, a social life, or on the road. Do you know anyone that's in their house less than Adam Rowe? Probably not, no. Right, so you've given Adam the best anal experience. No, sorry, I'm going to reword that. You've given... <laughs> <laughs> Adam has now got the holy grail of toilet seats, and you are going to spend most of your time shitting in just bog-standard fucking toilets. Well, it's the thing. Uh, I am a man who has been known in the past, as has been admitted on this many a time, if I need to poo, I'm pooing. And that includes while I'm out shopping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, Marks and Spencer's in town has yeah. been my regular poo station for years. Correct. Right? Yeah, we know that, yeah. All the Lift Pill 1 ones, whatever I'm closest to. The other day, I was out shopping, <laughs> and I went home for a poo. I've changed his life. Well, I hope you enjoy the preview in Leeds, because it's going to be a big interval <laughs> when Adam drives... <laughs> An hour and 15 minutes back to have a shit in his £1,000 toilet. Oh, thank you to everyone who's bought uh, tickets, by the way, to all me work in progress shows of my new special, Juicy. Um, because they are all sold out. And these are venues that I, I was doing on the, the tour just gone and the, the tour before was struggling to sell these venues out. Like Leeds is 250 seats and it's sold out in like a great 10 room. hours. And it's for a work in progress show. In, on a Tuesday in January on a week's notice that it's um yeah and to everyone else who's like oh why don't you come to Newcastle with this or fucking Timbuktu or whatever I am going to be announcing a full proper tour very very soon for the end of uh, 2023 going into the first part of 2024 uh, and I probably will be coming 
near where you live with that because I'm going. But these are previews, everywhere. aren't they? These are previews, so they've got to be a bit more local. Well, the, the tour's the, a bit more the, local. These are previews for a show that is about to be filmed because I just want this show filmed and done and over. Um, are there any tickets left for the Glasgow no, weekend? They sold out like literally immediately. Um, the, it, like there isn't, you can't get a ticket now unless someone gets it on resale or someone needs to sell theirs. The, there isn't a ticket left to see a performance of the show, but it's being filmed on the 14th and 15th of January and I'm going to get Will to edit it as uh, as soon as possible. I would like that to go out because I'm trying... This will be announced properly. I'm trying to get my special to go out on the 11th of January if from the Philharmonic. If Will's back in time, we get that sorted. I think yours is going to go out a few weeks after that, isn't it? Yeah, That's the plan. end of January. So whatever the gap is between mine and yours, I think I'll do the same gap again, and then I'll release Juicy. Got some content. If you want to come to Chester and watch some comedy, Saturday the 14th of January, the Comedians Club Chester, I will be emceeing. Mick Ferry is closing. Bobby Mayer is opening. Hayley Ellis is in the middle. That's in a my lot. lovely church in Chester. A month after uh, Adam Rowe is there, and it sold out fucking quick. So come and have a, a non-boozy one. Or come and get shit-faced with us, January the 14th. Comediansclubchester.com. Shall we have an intervale? Let's go for some dinner. We're going to Bacardo. Yes. All right, everyone. Uh, we've got some exciting news. Take 47. I'm trying we've to give been, it to you. <laughs> we've been nominated for a National Comedy Award. We've been nominated for a lot of awards before. And won them. Because of and you won guys. Them. But we've got uh, a nomination for Best Podcast in the National Comedy Awards. On Channel 4. The Channel 4 National Comedy Awards on Channel 4. In aid of Stand Up to Cancer, actually, just so you know. Get the lids on Channel 4. We really want to win this one. We need your support. We really do. The biggest podcast in the country with dead famous superstar hosts and all that. They've all been nominated as well. So the only way we've got a chance of winning this is if we use the fact that our fan base are the most engaged on the fucking planet. Do you know what I mean? And we've got Peter the Have A Word Snake here. Peter, where should they go to vote for Have A Word? Go to votehaveaword.com. That's votehaveaword.com. That is a, a, a an address we've set up. It'll just send you straight to the website. You can vote in as many categories as you want. But here's the really important thing. Once you've voted, it will send a link to your email address to verify your email. Until you've verified your email, your vote will not count. And also, I would encourage you to set up several fake email accounts oh, yes. and vote as many times as you can. God. Let's corrupt our way to the top. <laughs> no, don't do that. But get your nana... She loves emailing. She lo I know your nan. She loves verifying emails. Get her okay. to vote. Your dad, your mum, everybody. Pat next door. Let's win this national comedy. If we win. Even if your next door neighbours not called Pat, still ask them. Oh, if yeah. we win, oh, yeah. I will name every famous paedophile with a super injunction. If we don't win, I'll bite some children. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. We've got to win now. <laughs> votehaveaway.com. Send that link to Tell as many people as you can. Vote in as many categories as you want, but make sure Tell you vote for Have a Word. When it gets to the final page, make sure you're telling us exact make make sure you've clicked the right one. Make sure you're all your votes, especially the one for the best podcast for Have a Word is correct. And then make sure you verify your email. Tony That's Yeboa. how we win. We're gonna win this. We're gonna win it. I feel really good. Did he say Tony Yaboa? Apparently. I'm not I can't. We've not won yet. We've not <laughs> won yet. Votehaveaword.com. Hi, guys. Time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor now. <laughs> it's manscaped.com. Santa, baby. It must be a holiday miracle because the sponsors of today's show, Manscaped, are providing the tools your man needs to stuff all your stockings, if you know what I mean. Mama like that. Cock and pussy. That's right. <laughs> this holiday season, Manscaped has vowed to make sure your man's tree is standing tall with two presents underneath. I think they mean his balls. Anyway, trust me, ladies. Santa's cookies aren't the only thing you're going to want to get your hands on. <laughs> You'll also want to touch his cock. Have him join the 7 million other sexy lumberjacks who use Manscaped and get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with the code WEIRD20. Oh, baby, it's cold outside, and you'll feel the cold even more when your balls have got no hair on them. It's a really good Christmas present. If you're looking to buy someone a nice gift set, think outside the box and get them a box of... Manscaped. I tell you who who would really like to have no pubes. It's Peter. 
to oh, have work. I've got no pubes, of course. Hey, I you're made. How are you doing there, lad? Tickle you under there. Peter, you're so smooth. Do you shave your balls with Manscaped? No, your wife does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tell you what, Peter's snappy. Manscaped's best-selling product is the performance package 4.0, which is at the <laughs> top of every man's wish list this year. You get the lawnmower body trimmer, the, dare I say, best trimmer on the market for balls, back, chest, and the list goes on. There's the weed whacker, which is the ear and nose trimmer, and let's not forget their famous liquid formulations, the crop preserver, the ball deodorants, the ball reviver, ball toner, ball toner, to keep them smelling nice down there. Peter, what do you when think? you're sucking a penis, lovely. you really want it to be floral. So go to manscaped.com and <laughs> Use the code WORD20 for 20% off and worldwide shipping. Peter, have you actually got bollocks? Yes, I've got two bollocks on my chin. Nice. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <sighs> I, I think I'm going to start wearing us. boots more. <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Uh, we <laughs> have some just getting into boots. <laughs> just getting into boots. I just think, you know, I'm going to be 31 in a couple of weeks, and I think I need to. Uh, you need to move to the south of Liverpool as well. If you want to I need to move to the north. south of Liverpool, and I also I just need to switch up my shoe game a bit. I've got an exceptional selection of trainers and Sinem. Sinem, been round your place now. Yeah, impressive. Room of shoes. Yeah, wall of shoes. If I'm being honest. Yeah, uh, but I need to add some boots, uh, some loafers. When I saw your wall some of shoes, Oxfords, when I saw you know? your wall of shoes, and it was mainly trainers. I was like, grow the fuck up. It's what I thought. I just need more variety in my life. I think I need some more sweaters as well. Cardigans. Yeah. And grow that big vagina that's coming as well. I'm going to sober for January wearing boots and sweaters. Yes. What's wrong with that? Are you gonna, so me and Serica uh, said we're going to start a new hobby <laughs> together yeah. uh, every Sunday. Yeah. We need to try and guess what it is. Church. No. Nope. Jigsaws. No. Nope. Satanic rituals. <laughs> no, nope, we're going to start ice skating. Cir lessons. Circle jerk. <laughs> no, I'm not ready to stop guessing. Circle jerks. <laughs> Is it Wank ice skating lessons? It's ice skating lessons. Wanking yeah. off bin men. You can't do that on the sun. Oh, sorry. Ice skating. <laughs> ice skating lessons. Right, why? Serica loves ice skating. You'll do anything she tells you, won't you? You are, like, properly under the ice skate. She's not telling me. She went, do you want to start ice skating? I'm going to start. I was like, yeah, why not? She really told me. Yeah, she kind of did, didn't she? No. She asked if I wanted to start with her. I think you should make a proviso that you've got to be able to wank off bin men, though. In ice skates, I don't want to do that. Though. No, it's such. What are you going to do if you if you get like really good at it? What's the plan? What's the point? What do you mean? What do you What's mean? What's the point? Well, it, What's the point? He's point. not going to the Olympics. That's not why you do everything, is it? That's not why you do everything. But that's why you do. <laughs> Where ice are you skating? going with it? <laughs> is it going to be a career? Otherwise, it's pointless. No, but what's the goal? Just to learn a new skill. To do what with it though? To ice skate. Are you going to dance or are you just skating? I'm is it is it. it for a mode of transport or to show off? It's exercise and yeah. it's fun. No, it's a mode of transport because <laughs> he's bored of driving. So he's going to ice skate in. <laughs> uh, yeah, good thinking. One day a year I can do that. And it's the, icy. The ice age is coming. I don't know, it's just something new, isn't it? Something different. I think it's fucking stupid. I'm really disappointed in you. What are you going to start doing? Don't Wearing water sweaters. Water from a cup reminds me of being at my nan's. don't know why. Because he loves mugs. Mm. And you, you're a man. Um, I I would like some. Uh, I, I I want some new projects to take on in the new year. Do you want to finish these these ones first? <laughs> what ones? <laughs> the ones that we've got. You know, a business around. It's, it's, honestly, it's like having an aspirational special needs, mate. <laughs> isn't it. I want to be a spaceman. Yeah, like, oh. I don't want to be a spaceman. I. But it wouldn't be surprised if that was the next thing. Boots, sweaters, <laughs> spaceman. <laughs> Hi, Jack Finnegan. <laughs> well, enjoy your ice skating. We want full reports. Are you still climbing? Because you were doing that for a while, weren't you? Uh, I've stopped climbing. I completed it. About the that. kid who works there actually went, can you stop coming? Because people, are, everywhere. people are getting embarrassed. Yeah. And He's he was like, like, what are you doing climbing for? Mode of transport? <laughs> yeah. He thought I was going to start the Olympics. No, but climbing is a legitimate skill, isn't it? You could get stuck in pedal and need to climb. You could. <laughs> it's very unlikely you get stuck anywhere where he can ice skate his way out of danger. Yeah, living in <laughs> Highton, the Spanish Quarter. <laughs> I do live in Highton. Um, yeah, I want I I want to start some new projects. I think. Do you know um, your news resolution should just be you're going to have loads of news resolutions. 
that's yeah. that's what that's not a resolution, isn't it? It's a goal. It's yeah. a target. Yeah. It's a bullseye that I'm aiming for with the darts of life. Oh I'd God. love someone to please someone go back and find Adam's inevitable last year's New Year's revolu- resolutions and let's see how they went. <laughs> and his New Year's revolutions as Revolution, well. Yeah. As they, as they were. I think last year's New Year's resolutions uh, were hampered somewhat by the uh, traumatic January that I had. He couldn't ice skate and it was frosty. <laughs> 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 One nil, Carl. Can't remember, it's boring. Um... Uh, I do want to read more this year. Oh, fuck oh, off. I do. Stop. I'm not going to set myself unrealistic fuck targets like two or three books this year. Like, I want your boots reading. <laughs> oh, interesting. You're turning into South Liverpool. You're reading books and getting boots, mate. They're cold to be next. Look, I bought a pair of boots last week and I really like them. They're comfy and they make me tall. <laughs> what? Like a big rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> How built up are they here? Are they high heels? No, they're they just... Big, are they heel boots? No, they're just, they, they just give you a bit of a... You just feel tall. You're not actually tall. <laughs> I feel like 5'11 in them. Adam's next year's resolution. I'm going to wear stilettos. <laughs> feel tall and horny. <laughs> Finn, have you got any uh, New Year's resolutions? Uh, Apart like from to, smoke weed like every day. to knit. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a boat. What is going on on this podcast? <laughs> Sweaters ice skating and knitting. Knit me a sweater. I promise I'll wear it while I'm reading. I'll wear the ice skating. Mate. Walla. I'm eating more pussy. <laughs> Someone write it down. <laughs> That's mine. I'm going to fuck some pussy. Because someone's got to take up the mantle of what this podcast is meant to be. <laughs> Baloki. Do you know how much pussy you have on the ice, mate? <laughs> Listen. Oh. Listen. <laughs> Listen, here's what I want for the year. I want to travel a lot, right? Yeah. I am going to do quite a lot of travel this year. I've got stuff booked and there's more to come. Yeah. In September, I'm doing some European stand up shows. Oh, okay, good. In a sweater. Um, so that'll help add to that. So that's heels that. for that. Are you going to wear heels? No. In Europe? no boots. Okay. okay, good. I'm a boot man now. You're, Europe's a very booty place. They call me Rowie Two Boots now. Italy. Rowie Italy Boots. Shaped like a boot, yeah. no, I'm not Rowie Bags anymore. I'm Rowie Boots. Because I'm, I'm frugal and I wear boots. Yeah, you boots. And you love knowledge and you're reading. And car boot sales. And you love car boot I want to read four books this year. You're not going to. Four books this year. That's a realistic target, though, isn't it? No, not for you. Why? Because you're remedial. You're not going to even open What's a book. Mean? I'll read and find out. My new <laughs> resolution is to hear less of Adam's aspirations. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's fucking career's guidance counsellor. I know you're good with, you know, your hands. Got two stand up specials going out. That's going to be a lot of content. And I think I might need a side podcast, the Row Show. Right. Something like that. We could do ours. Yeah. Could do mine and yours if you want. That World Cup preview would go well now, <laughs> I think. That other side <laughs> podcast that you were defo doing that you got artwork made up for. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to get that one going? Are you, is that gone? I think we start that for, in time for the new Premier League season, yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Row Show. Yeah, I'll be and in Japan for that, but you know, you can do it yourself. <laughs> so, the, yeah. talk me through the row show. It's just all about me. <laughs> right. So, it's 75% have a word, <laughs> <laughs> maybe 80. People writing in, why are you so good? I don't know. I, I am so good. Thanks First question, question that I definitely didn't make up. <laughs> You're fucking great, Adam. Read more books. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Sign up at patreon.com, you get a signed book. <laughs> Shit! I've been given books away, I've not read. Oh, I've got to sign my own book. <laughs> Just signing a John Grisham from Adam. I am a cunt. Good and luck with this. First <laughs> 10 pages. You are going to laugh at this. First one. 10 pages oh, took ages. <laughs> but I mean, oh, bars. I am going to start writing the skeletons of my autobiography. <laughs> I need a break. I'm out. Just give me two minutes. <laughs> I believe you. You got a title. You got a title. Autobiography. Working title is Pride. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out again. I need a break. Walk it up, Dan. Walk it up. <laughs> is there a subheading or is it just just called Pride? <laughs> One man's journey to peace. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> In fucking boots. <laughs> <laughs> you get the ghost right there because you're not doing it. <coughs> no one can tell my story quite like me. It's good. That's true, isn't it? 
It's autobiographies. <laughs> yeah. Nick. Knitting fin. Knitting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knitting. Just Good always admired it. I don't know how it works. It's like magic. Yeah. Oh, we do all this gear. Yeah? Yeah. Are you going to do it stoned? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knit one, curl one. Do, 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 do. Do you know, I think I would achieve a lot more Fuck of my it. goals if the people who I uh, love the most, the people who I work with on this podcast, just showed one ounce of belief in me. Yep. You always just ridicule me and tell me it's not going to happen. Because it never happens. Because you talk bollocks. It, but it doesn't happen because you're telling me it's not going to happen. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a... Yeah. It's not self-fulfilling, is it? <laughs> <laughs> if we tell you it's no, bollocks... No, it is self-fulfilling. You go, oh, great. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy that you told me it was bollocks. <laughs> and now I've self-fulfilled it. That's how self-fulfilled prophecies work. <laughs> You've ruined my prophecy. Can we all pick one achievable resolution and then this time next year we'll look back and see if you've done it? Like, are you talking about walking and boots and that? I get it. Let's well, think. Go on, what's yours? I said, let's think of one. I told okay. you, man. We're being genuine. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay, I'd like to get a band together. <laughs> for Adam's, me to Adam's new 2023. I want to be in a band. <coughs> well, I actually would like to learn oh. the drums. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he means like people who can already play instruments. Drop me a DM if you want to be in my band. There we go. Oh, you idiot. What? You fucking idiot. What's going to happen? Adam's DM's DM full of crabs. <laughs> no, oh, oh, you just said Adam? Yeah, Adam's going to DM me. Just a load of Indonesian 12-year-old boys. Yeah. yeah, we can do a good band. <laughs> that's literally it. There's a fit bear, that's the picture. What's Adam doing here? He's DM and Finn. All right, then Finn, that's a good one. Start a band. Or okay. I've just had a message here. Become a band. Oh, he's verified. Oh, it, says, it says, I want to be in your band. <laughs> Straight to the point, Gary Glitter said that. Um, what, what what will your role be in the band? Will you be the lead singer and I, guitarist? I'm, or are you going to get someone with a powerful voice like Aretha Franklin? <laughs> so she did. Uh, is that you? <laughs> is that, were you were you Aretha Franklin in that? No. Oh, sorry. I, I thought can't you were sing. going. Oh, right. I thought you were going. I'm a percussion man. No, I think he literally meant you're going to get Aretha <laughs> Franklin to be the front person. Uh, I think I think it would be really progressive if you were the only straight sort of white man in the band. Can I like yeah. the, can so I like we the need a, a, a soulful black lady to front yeah. the band. <laughs> one of them. Yeah, and it would be really progressive <laughs> if you got someone with whatever that disability is. <laughs> I assume that was a two different things that were being said. <laughs> you know, like Aretha Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you know when she puts things a down. A deaf there, ghost. Willie, she's Aretha Franklin. <laughs> oh, yes, Carl's back. <laughs> Carl's back. Woo, he's full of Bacardo. He's fucking on fire. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Dan, have you got yeah. a, a genuine, a, achievable one? Don't like let's a not goal. do tours. That's not a resolution. Tours. It's a goal. Don't do tours and stuff. because that's a, re a, re a resolution is like you, you're going to yeah. change something about your life. Like it needs to be a goal, something you're going to achieve this year. Yeah, well, I don't want to be the fattest one on the podcast anymore. I don't think you are. I think that's still me. I just wear it better. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest neg I've ever heard in my entire life. You're fat and I'm fat. No, better than you. I am fat than you, but I'm so much better <laughs> than being fat than you. It's also when you wear boots with heels, you just hold the weight better. <laughs> yeah, that's my that that's my aim to hey, be. Cambridge weight plan. Um, yeah. I can't go. I can't go the heartbreak route because I'm in a very happy, loving relationship. I'll drug, Laura, drug you route. Plus, plus Abby, do you want, do you want me to fuck Laura and ruin your marriage? I'm happy to help you out. I think that's fucking lovely. That you know, it, <laughs> isn't fair it? play. Isn't fair it? play to him. Chat online to Laura. Listen, babe. Listen, he looks shit fat. I'm dead good <laughs> fat. Fuck me. Get your own house, and he'll have to pay for it. Nice one. Okay, so you want to weigh the the second least. Or the least. Have you got a target weight? That'd be a good one. It shouldn't really be about weight, but I could get down to second lightest in the podcast. Okay, so what? what second weight? lightest behind Steve. Steve weighs I about four stone. I can't. You, the yeah, I'd have to get back to the the sort of skinny where Deliso Shaponda was like, if you're African, we think you had AIDS. That's how thin I got that first time. Uh, I can't match Steve. Steve is not. I don't think you could even match Finn. E easily, he's he's taller and bigger. If I lose the weight, give us a target weight. If I'm I'm thin at twelve stone, so you want to be twelve stone? Give yourself a little. I'm like, fourteen and a half now. Okay, let's say between twelve and twelve and a half. Get down to that. You'd right. Be, yeah. Okay. Adam, 
I'm still thinking between like. Oh, but I want a bigger dick. I want a. Uh, so we're gonna have your to. Your dick does get bigger as you get thinner. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, because you know your little fucking your, like your little second belly. Round your mons pubis. Kate yeah. Shelf. That like puffs out. You you put weight on there. I've got and a f I've got a fat mons. Yeah. <laughs> no, mate, so, I'm not even joking. Hey. Laura's actually said you've got a pudgy mons. Well, when your mons like when you lose weight off your mons, you get more <laughs> cock. Yeah. It's a known fact that goes from your mons into your cock. Wouldn't it be great if you could put weight on on your dick? Is that oh. what the mons is? <laughs> the boozer. <laughs> Queen <Great shot. Yeah. laughs> There's a gaff called the mons in Liverpool. Go on, what's yours? A realistic one. So you want? No, to I want. I want on yours first. I want to start streaming, don't I? And start streaming. Yeah. Your ice skating channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, tried, I tried to do that with a straight face, and I couldn't do it straight. Yeah, gaming. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what a target subscriber limit le, regular. What's a normal shit? What anyone? Two million. Yeah. Two million. God, it would be so annoying if you started an ice skating channel that got two million subscribers while we had fifty, sixty thousand on on YouTube. We'll get Carl on as a, de a, a desk. We'll get him on as a desk. <laughs> I'll be a desk. If you want. I'd like to speak proper English and use words. Uh, I want. I want to. I want to be a, a fully fledged streamer by this time next year. Right, I've got a computer we can sell you. Um, oh, it doesn't work. Uh, Finn, you want to... Start a band. Band, streamer, yep. not fat. No, not fat. You've got, to got, you've got to target goal weight. All right, okay, cool. I've got three, and I'm not wavering. I'm having all three. No, you've got to pick one. No, it's gotta be, It can't be like be able to fly or like talk to squiddles. It's got to be like normal shit. Oh, that's the first two. No, I've only got one. <laughs> Come on, we'll Imagine it, how shit it would be if you could talk to animals, but it was just squirrels and they're just boring. Like, yo, where's my nuts? In your mouth. I would like to film <laughs> at least eight comedy sketches. Oh, I like nice. it. Nice. I like it. That's good. You can keep that. That's good. I want to read four books. No, fuck them off. You're not going to get all of them done because you've got ADHD. You'll do one of them great. Pick one. Four books. <sighs> and I want to start a second podcast. Whether that's the row show or whistle for it. Can you pick one of them, please? One of the three just things. Just pick one, just for us to look back on and be proud of yourself when you've done it. No, all three. I'll, I'll fucking do them all. Is it bad? I think the books is the, the least books likely. is the least likely one. Yeah. Totally. I'm going to read four books this month. Hang on. Yeah, because he's better at working than he is at... He hasn't specified like the leisure. Book. It can't be the Mr. Men. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Three Bump. books. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bump's a classic. Yeah, four books of sand. That's a book every three months. That's not ridiculous. I can do that. No, it's not ridiculous. It's someone who can't read. They're like, it's learning to read. You could, it's very doable. You can read a book yeah. in two weeks if you're trying to read it. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't even manage a full one this year. And I was trying. So. Do you want to do sketches? Mm. Right. The sketch one's the best one of them. I reckon you, yeah. you go for that. Have you got ideas? Like for yeah. The... I, wrote one, I wrote some down. <laughs> don't don't read them out. It's not good. You got to do the. You got to let the creative process. You can't do. Yeah. And man, you, you, man who leaves his windows open in the car wash. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing already. Uh, I know a good one. It's two men and they've got a ladder. They're trying to carry it, but one of them keeps swinging it round and then he's knocking the one behind them over. It's been done. What? It's been done. And he can say like to me, and he go no to to That's me. That's Chuckle Brothers. I think it was the Mighty Boosh. The Chocolate Brothers did the Mighty Boosh. Yeah, they were, yeah. It wouldn't have surprised me. Yeah, yeah. Now, we'll look back at this next year. Hello, next year. And uh, we've done all that. Hello, we? next year. That's creepy. But we've all... Look, Finn, your band called the, the Wombles. They're sick. Smash that. That's a good name. Dan, uh, you skinny cunt. Adam, well done on reading that book. Have you got any, um, <laughs> have you got any band, band name <laughs> ideas? No, we can, we can brainstorm it if you want. Is it going to be something like... You the know, Wiggle Munchers? Granddad's catheter. What? Something yeah. bleak. What, in it. Hang on. What? What style of music are you going for? You going like rap? <laughs> in yeah, he's going yeah, rap, going death rap. metal, a rap I, band. I was going rap, death metal, rap, death metal. The thing is, the real rap scene's already like it's just it's too much bouncing. North Walian hip hop. You can't move for. Yeah. Jen, are you going more like Oasis -y indie stuff? Well, the song that's coming out in a couple of months is like quite uh, dancey. Oh, it's a, a banger. Is that the one in, I indie dance? Oh, it is a banger yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look out for that, it was a banger. Yogurt in a bobble hat. <laughs> I like it. Or just yogurt. Uh, if you'd like to suggest band names for Finn's supergroup, 
<laughs> Super good. Have a word pod at gmail.com. If you'd, ask, if you'd like to ask questions, if you're a patron, you get uh, like priority questions. But have a word pod at gmail.com for some questions. Do you want to do some? Sharks, Finn. Finn. Super the Sharks. Sharks. I no. Think that might already be a band. Shark, it's, an, it's a name of a band's album. Who supported Paul Nutini? Can't remember the name, sorry. Can we start the speed round? Yeah, we started it. Benji Edmonds says... Swimming with vampires. Ooh. Ooh. They don't swim. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh. It's a good name for the merch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Walking with... Go on. (laughs) Seals. Vampires. Walking with seal. Walking with seal, not seals. Yeah, it's seals in the band. Speed round. Uh, Benji Edmonds says, what's your thoughts on Andrew Tate getting arrested in Romania for sex trafficking? I think he's been set up. Yeah, he's a top G. Leave him alone. <laughs> and, oh, God. And if you could if you could choose one he's celeb to get... He's persecuted by the Matrix for exposing all of their bad work. Oh, he's the best of us. I hope he gets bummed to death in prison. It'll he's out. He's already made great. a statement about it. He's what? He's, he's, already out. Made, he's out. Is he out already? Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't been what, sex What Adam prison. said then was his excuse, the Matrix are after me. Yeah. Can, can we get Morpheus. this... F- He's going to blow the lid off this whole thing this year. That's oh, his resolution. Please, yeah. can we get this fuck knuckle off it, off social media? He's doing my tits in. Why does my algorithm think I want to watch Andrew Tate videos? I, I watch them. I watch them because they're so interesting to watch, to watch somebody's... I don't know. It's some maniacal fucking plan. It's mad. It's interesting to watch, I think. I'm not watching it going, yeah, lad, you're right. Yeah. It's like watching Kanye fucking his head fall off. You're watching it because it's... It is interesting and entertaining, at least. Mm, and he has got a Bugatti. So. Yeah, he's got 33 cars. Yeah. And he's got he more cars than me. I'm so gutted that he's, he's out of prison. Is that it? They just arrested him, and that was it. One, he's rich. He's not one going night to prison. in prison. He's, better, he's bail, he? not going to prison. He's rich. Another name for your band there. One night in prison. Oh. That's good. Yeah. Andrew Tate and the sex traffickers. <laughs> <laughs> that would annoyingly... On Radio pro- 1. That would probably sell some tickets. <laughs> Um, if you could choose one celeb to get arrested, who would you choose and for what crime? You have the power. <laughs> you have the power. He's dead now. To have a celebrity arrested. Is it Pele? For fraud. <laughs> Pele for fraud. <laughs> David Jason. <laughs> for shoplifting. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. Russell Brand for tax evasion. Um, what? Finn? Yeah. What celeb would you want to... Ta- Pierce Morgan... For oh no! Leave him. He's got you by the bollocks as well, hasn't he? Sex dungeon, mate. He's I'd got you by it. the bollocks. In. I'd love it if he had a fucking him and Boris Johnson had got a halves on a kiddie sex dungeon. Although now I've seen love that. I've loved that. Which <laughs> now <laughs> do you want to go? Oh. I didn't say they'd used it. Um, <laughs> got halves on it and never used it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you go to? Pre- <laughs> I like lad, what's happening? Yeah, I can't afford this sex dungeon. You're not going to go. Oh, halves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, lad. It's nice to do a project with a friend, isn't it? <laughs> I think the mistake we made was getting the sign that said Kitty Sex Dungeon. <laughs> I think that was part of the problem. Um, I'd go with um, Deck from Anton Deck for Grand Larceny. I don't even know what Grand Larceny is. It's, it's theft, isn't it? Oh, is it? He's been stealing from me. So, Joe, when you... Like, larceny both... is stealing and Grand Larceny is like bank job. Joe, when you go on the x Factor, he's like, ring, what's his, what's his accent, Adam? Call 904 Call 9... He's set that number up. And <laughs> it's he's quite getting good, isn't it? Because he's, ve- he's a very softly spoken Geordie. Call, he sounds like a Geordie who's nervous to be there. Call 0191 236 That's a Newcastle number. Aye, it's me mum's. Yeah, because he, what he's done is... He's taking a set, fiver off everyone. He's set up a telemarketing scheme and he's made millions. Call 0800 312215 now and donate five pounds to the Declan Donnelly Retirement Fund. Rasta. How are you? And, no one and he calls it no one time. noticed because <laughs> everyone's like that's such a bad accent I can't hear what you're saying <laughs> the Declan Dunley you would pay him on the funda I'm it's a part Welsh part Lebanese <laughs> <laughs> but I live in Baita Baita Grove oh or I take down a big like Stephen Fry for like <laughs> so unhorrible why? Ruin what's, someone. What's Stephen Fry done for? No, I love you? Stephen Fry, but I'm saying take down like Attenborough for like kicking down dolphins. Or something. So hang on, are we framing them? Is that have they actually done this or are we framing them? Kicking, framing them? kicking dolphins. Bad name. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to come up with a few. Just keep a word file open. So we're framing them for this. Oh yeah, you have like an all-powerful 
you're allowed to get someone done for any crime. Okay. Yeah. Um, who do I fucking eat? <laughs> <laughs> Rod Stewart. Sylvan Viltord for fucking I like Sylvan Viltord. I've just heard he's ill. Um, <laughs> Sylvan Hillsword, more like. <laughs> It is more like that, actually. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what we're talking about, on the most recent Patreon episode, we did our annual Deadpool. Don't tell them. Go and sign up, you fucking cheap bastard. Sylvan so Wilson was one of mine. Um, and if that comes true, <laughs> that's going to feel really uncomfortable, isn't it? When Rod, you're like, Rod Stewart for sexually assaulting dogs. <laughs> Rod Stewart bums dogs? Because <laughs> yeah. it's a good album name. That's your first Matt album. Healy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lock him up. What a creepy twat. Sorry, carry on. Who's Matt Healy? Do you know uh, Denise Welch oh, from Loose Women? Hate him. Yeah. It's her son and also Tim Healy's son. You know Tim Healy from Alf Widers in I think he... Alf Widers in Does he work for Declan Donnelly? <laughs> hey, I'm working on a telemarketing scheme. <laughs> There's a prince. I've met Tim Healy. He goes around everywhere on these wheels on his shoes. <laughs> And the paint on them is got quite a dull finish. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. But... <laughs> uh, we need to bring Kobe back. Um, yeah, I've met Tim Healy. He did a, a gig with me a few years ago. He did a bedtime story at a comedy show. Nice guy. Uh, but his son, Matt Healy, uh, he's the lead singer of the 1975. And he is he? Is it looks like this. So. Oh, <laughs> That's how he sings. But then he's like, oh yeah, my name is Matt. I don't mind. I sing like this. He sounds like Jack the Ripper if he was a singer. Like that stupid old London voice. I hate him. I hate him as well. I Give me any him. song. He sounds like Jack the Ripper. Give me any song and I'll sing it in the style of Matt Healy. Return uh, of the Fly Ma. me to the moon. Fly me to the moon. Let me play at my new star. Oh. Yeah, I, well, I, I want him dead as well now. <laughs> <laughs> I would frame him for pissing on the Mona Lisa. Pissing on the Mona Nobody Lisa. Nobody saw. But I have no, a video. I'll just use AI to chase it. Framing. <laughs> Talk me through the framing of Matt Healy. You just, you've, you've got in the queue <laughs> for the Mona Lisa. Matt Healy's next to you. I invite him. And you've got your dick out, but it's so big, it looks like it's his dick and you piss on the Mona Lisa. No, answer that too. Go. Right. I'd send him an invite in the mail. Right. Right. Not the news the daily mail. Post. <laughs> <laughs> the daily post. Uh, I would send him a letter and I'd be like, Matt. Matt Healy's always in the classified. What's this? An invitation <laughs> <laughs> to the Louvre with Adam Rowe. I'm there. <laughs> be like, listen, Matt, lad, news for you. As you've seen, Extinction Rebellion and Just Stop Oil keep fucking wazzing a load of soup over <laughs> all these paintings. So what we're doing is we're giving paintings away to famous sound people like you. <laughs> So look after them, because you've got better security Have in yours. Have you just rang his mobile and started the conversation? Because Matt, <laughs> Matt Healy's got better security than the Louvre. Apparently. All right, cool. Yeah. No one's throwing soup on him. The, ipso facto. <laughs> Fact. No Vis one's throwing v, soup. AKA knowledge. So I'd be like, uh, we need you to come down the Louvre, <laughs> get a photograph <laughs> in front of the Mona Lisa, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll uh, then we'll give you it. And then I'd get him to pose for the photograph and be like, now just turn and face it and just like hold your hands here. And he wouldn't even question it. He's just like, oh yeah, because I've got a cock. I'm like, he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, <you've got> <laughs> yeah, this, this seems cock. real. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own this shortly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fucking scouts are in the North Face tracky. Now hold your dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can have this in a bit. Um, and then I'd be like, yeah, now I just pose like that. And then I'd Photoshop his cock in. <laughs> Piss on. Right. And then he, what, what happens? What? He just send it to him, what happens? The police. And what do they do? I arrest him for pissing on the Mona Lisa. Yeah. Oh, sorry, how long did you get in jail? You'd get years for that. For pissing on the Mona Lisa. Actually on the painting. Oh, you've took down the barriers as well? Yeah. No, he's just aimed it, you know, at primary school when he's like stood back and said, piss in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, Matt Healy. <laughs> Would be a weird phone call, wouldn't it, lads? Meet me at the Louvre. <laughs> We're giving you. He's been like fucking fingering his fans on stage and all that. Right? Do you think he could get arrested for that? Then has he? Because all his fans. He next him on stage. Don't even have seen it. Yeah. No. He get to the creepiest oh, so one. He, he asks. He he gets. He goes like, "Which babe wants a neck?" Then 
And like all the girls like me fucking tongue punch me fart box mouth. <laughs> Twelve year olds go to those days as well. But then he asks them for ID because they're all dead young, and he like checks their IDs, biting their IDs, and everything, making sure they're real. And he's like, right, yeah, she's seventeen. And then he next them. He sounds like a showman. This guy he sounds like a fucking gobshite. I hope he dies. I hope he, he's in the Deadpool now, under sixty. <laughs> He, he's yeah, he's he's proper like fucking tongue in the fuck out of like these sixteen year old girls. What's your thoughts on the nineteen seventy five? Overrated shite. Oh really? Yeah, fuck awful. His, that, his impression tuna. wasn't that far away. I oh, want oh, oh, like chocolate. That one's a fucking banger, can't I? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Sounds like the Arctic Monkeys, but like a, the Southern Branch. Oh, oh. yeah, it, is, it kind of is. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck off. But yeah, he's he's like doing horrible stuff on stage. It's just so creepy, and there's. Oh, look, women love it. It's weird. It's fucking It's women's crazy. fault. It's women. They enable it. They do. He gave a girl her first kiss the other day after checking her ID. Uh, and it was on the bummel. Is it? <laughs> it's out of order. Can I see the ID for your bummel? <laughs> um, I, genuinely, he he checks IDs before he snogs people. He can't, like, This can't be real. I've seen the picture on Twitter, but I didn't click on it because I didn't care. It, 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 can't, it can't be. Check it out. Checks a fan ID. The oh, 1975s. He bites let me, the ID. Right, let me read it. The 1975s. Watch the full video. Healy checks a female fan's ID after she waved a sign in the crowd asking him to be her first kiss. Oh, God, he's gone for it there, hasn't he? Security guard watching. Right. What is you this? can't see is you can't see his right hand. It's up at ass. So <laughs> he's playing it like Peter the Snake. I'm just going to play devil's advocate. Was that the only time he nope. did it? No. No. He's, done he's been getting people on stage. That was the first time he's gone to the He does lineups. Right, well, it's 2022, and you've got to be more representative, haven't you? So if I go to a 1975, the 1975, with a sign well. going, I've never been fingered in the bum hole <laughs> by uh, Matt Healy, I'm going to be like, you have the ID, 42, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> oh, 41 or three quarters. Finger right in my ass. Prison, because... But then you're framing him, because then you take your skin suit off, and you're actually... Underage and the police go, Well done, Dan. Smashed it. So I take my skin suit off and I'm underage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's going to be the tricky bit, isn't it? That's up to you, Dan. Oh, right, okay. I'll, I'll, the work ideas, man. <laughs> I'll work on that. Speed round. <laughs> Matt Lambert says, Wag Waglitz, question for Adam this. What are the three toilets, people's toilets, places, toilet, brands of toilet that you would like to obliterate with anonymous IBS special? Mucho amor. Matthew Lambert. Brand of what, what, what? So you get. Wait, 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 just fucking listen to the, these questions. I did listen to every word. It made no sense. What are, you, what are the three toilets that you would like to obliterate with an anonymous app? You can pick any three toilets in the world to do an Adam special. Oh, Buckingham Palace. Yeah. The one that the Queen used to use. Or the, the King's one. Right. But I'm not flushing. Um, yeah, have a smell of that, Charles. You big swat. Um, get arrested on the way out. The White House. Call it the shite house after I've been. <laughs> Brown house. Um, <coughs> and then the ensuite of Melinda Messenger. Melinda Messenger? It's the three powerhouses of the world, isn't it? It's like, it's like Al-Qaeda. We hit the White House, Buckingham Palace. That's the Illuminati sorted. <laughs> Fucking Buckingham Palace, the White House. Melinda Messenger's flat. <laughs> <laughs> If you know, you fucking know. She's like the penthouse, isn't she? <laughs> Pentagon even. Pentagon. Uh, Sam Lee says, Hey, up, lids. I remember from back in the day, a group of lads played a game of poker in Vegas and the loser had to, guess breast, had to get breast implants. Oh, <laughs> if you could all pick a game that gives you the best chance of winning against a random member of the Have A Word team picked out of a hat, what game are you picking? Table tennis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if you got Steve, though, it'd be... Are you slacking, Steve? <laughs> I've just become a centurion against Steve. Just won a hundred games. Steve's poo if you're listening, you big tit. Steve's Steve and Carla are a similar ability to But I'm better than Steve. Maybe marginally. No, I am. I've won more games. Well, it's what? a literal barometer of being better. What um what sport what game are you picking? Game ice, ice skating. Uh, can I make the game up? <laughs> what? Can I invent the game? First one to be called Carl Regler wins. <laughs> no, like a mastermind about holidays I've been on. No, no, that's oh. too esoteric. Um, ooh. I'm probably going to learn this year. I'm going for SingStar. Do you remember the game on the PlayStation? Well, you I'll could, beat you all at singing. You can't sing. 
I'd go big, big book. <laughs> I'd go big book hunter. You are freakishly good at that. Um, can I just say, I apologise. I thought the arcade games would be really cool looking in the lobby of the podcast. And I think they do look cool. But I genuinely thought more people would have a play on them. No one, apart from Will for about 10 minutes, has Xbox. touched either. Uh, I've, I, I honestly thought... I've had a couple of goes of oh. big book. I'm just not very good at it, so oh, I don't right. play it anymore. All right, cool. Hide the sausage. The probably. table tennis table has been great value. I'd go big book hunter. I'd go football. A game of football? Yeah. <laughs> right. One-on-one? On one. Uh, yeah. One-on-one? On one. Knockout. What? Talk me through one-on-one on one knockout. So there's a goalie and it's you against, say, Finn. Yeah. Oh, like... Oh, I right, yeah. goal because he's better than goal than ever. Right. Yeah. I should have got you a goalkeeper gloves for Christmas. Oh, I don't really play anymore. Oh, no. I know. I've hung, I've hung up the gloves. By the way, if anyone was looking, because I'd like to play football more, so next 2023, year. 2023, add it to the list. Add it to the list. Um, I'd like a new knee. If anyone wants to, you know, splash out, just put a little sprinkle there. A turkey yeah. knee? Yeah. Sounds <laughs> like a little lunch dinner, doesn't it, for before Christmas? <laughs> what happened to turkey knee? <laughs> From the breast? I love the knee. Turkeys <laughs> um, have knees. <laughs> Do they have legs? Yeah. But do they have knees? Oh, yeah, turkeys have knees. I if don't you've know, got, you know. If you've got legs, you've got knees. That's no. not true. Oh, Dogs don't have knees. Oh, hunt. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they have two. No, they don't. What do they have? They have bendy bits. Their knees bend the opposite way, but they do have knees. Fucking Suck shit. my fucking balls. Hey, then he wants a forward knee, though. Couldn't get a turkey knee. He'd be walking backwards all the time. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, no, because I've still got my other knee. He'd be just going in circles. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd have to get both knees done. Couldn't have one taken <laughs> him on Adam Roney. What are we saying here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, speed round. What's he on? George J says, I've got some personalised <laughs> would you rathers. Hello, you cunts. Love the pod. Still not quite caught up today as a latecomer, so I hope to come across this being read out in the near future. Here are some individual would you rathers for each of you. Sorry if anyone has quit or died in between where I am and the most recent episode. Steve's dead. Oh, don't ask for these. Yeah, it's just dead. Uh, Adam, would you rather sign for Liverpool Football Club as you are now for one season, guaranteed game time, or do strictly and win? Uh, do strictly and win. Better as career, isn't it? Yeah. Because, like, I'm guaranteed game time, so am I guaranteed to start every game? Mm, respectfully, if you get signed by Liverpool, say this is all powerful and you do sign for LFC, mm. you're not good enough to play for Liverpool Football Club so you'd be a fucking liability. Says who? Yep. That was a minute to you. Old turkey Impact knees. sub. And it, Impact sub. He, you'd be one of the most disliked people in Liverpool. What do you mean? He's goalkeeper though. Because you can't play Premier League standard football. How do you know? Because you're the fattest <laughs> person on the podcast. So? Doesn't like, mean this, anything. This big uh, lad holds... Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Mulby was big boy, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he was a professional footballer as well. Yeah, but you don't know Adam isn't. Yeah, I'm, I've I've just never I've never been given a chance. Right, cool. Yeah, is that why you don't play for Liverpool? I think in this current Liverpool side, if I if I started every game and I get brought off on the hour mark ish, Klopp, <laughs> Klopp loves a sixty-five minute sub, doesn't he? Like fucking Griezmann. Yeah, right. I reckon I'm getting twelve Premier League goals. Cool. Well, that's another aspiration for the strictly. But no, I'd go strictly because. Like, in all seriousness, it's going to be tough for me to get into the side. If I'm not guaranteed to start every game, they've probably got a very good squad, and they've just signed Cody Gakpo, who plays in my position. Oh, so wow, That's the problem. <laughs> Sorry, Jürgen, lad. I, lo I do a lot of gigging on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I need game time, otherwise I'm, I'm going to do hot water. Yeah, so jokes. Strictly and win. And I reckon I could win Strictly as well. I can fucking move when I need to, mate. Um, um, oh, my, that'll well, win Strictly, that move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bit of this. Strictly's never seen this, mate. <laughs> the video of Ishan's dance at the fucking arena show. There's me half a beat because I'm just copying what. I, uh, and at one point, Adam just goes, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I did just give up. She just got halfway through and, oh, shut the fuck up. Da, 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 da. 
Go know, online, get your fucking ten up, you cunt. Because doesn't that, even need a partner. That's what they do on Strictly. <laughs> they clap and then da 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 da, and they go, go online, get your ten up, you cunt. <laughs> on prime time, I see. The, <laughs> it would turn into fucking roast battle. Man, I don't think your waltz was up to much. Go fuck yourself, Len, you dirty cunt. No, that's not Len Goldman. That's uh, Craig Revel Hallwood. <laughs> oh, Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Len's yeah. like Len's dead, yeah. Len's, Len's yeah. left. Your middle name's the worst bag of sweets. You soft cunt. <laughs> he's Great done and he, he's, he's done. never given me less than a nine ever he's again done. after that and he owns the company as well so that would really hurt he owns Revels <laughs> and all halls that's how he made his money that's how he's made his money <laughs> decongestants and you know coffee. your name sounds like a shit wedding venue you daft swat off the bench <laughs> <laughs> Len Goodman 10 <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, Mooty Mabuti uh, what the, the fruity tooties O.T. Mabuti. O.T. Mabuti. <laughs> She's got some of the biggest medical tits I've ever seen in my life. Oh, they are absolute corkers. All right, stop no talking. Lennon. Strictly can do a lot for a comedian's career. If you do it right. Can I? Yeah, we can do a lot of damage as well. I can. <laughs> if you do it wrong. I can. Yeah. I can. Do you know Len is short for length as well? But he was known as back in the day. <laughs> length government. <laughs> Used to pork that many birds. He was like, oh, it's length. He's like, ah, oh, it's a bit bang. <laughs> I hope the camera is on you for how happy you look with that. He used to be quite, he's literally looking at me and I'm like, I've got one here, lads. <laughs> Step back. Step back. I've got this one. Length. Good man. Um, Dan, would you rather grow hair back, but it's the same as your pubes, length, colour, smell and texture? Length. Smell. Or have total body baldness, shiny smooth with absolutely no hairs? I, uh, what? Why would you want the second one? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? How is that a hard question? You grow your hair back and have your pubic head and you shave it if you want. Finn's got pubic head. Yeah. And he, lo- and he looks fucking good with it as well. My pubes don't smell. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't. How do you know though? No, I mean... but You, you can't get your head down there. I, la- I-, I wash at least once a day. I have like two showers a day most days. What, who's got smelly pubes? What's, what are you doing it's down there? Women's game. <laughs> Some women. <laughs> so, which men have got smelly pubes? Uh, you your pubes don't smell, do they? I played that game at Christmas. It was a box set. Who's got smelly pubes? Who's got smelly pubes? <laughs> Nana always wins. Oh. oh. Mine died this year, Dan. That's why they... Never mind. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, to be honest, though, that woman had really nice smelling pubes. Did she? Yeah. I don't know. That's why I heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what are you picking the hair one? <laughs> Carl's like, and move on. <laughs> um, I fuck Carl's now. And smell the pubes while I was doing it. You're a class act. <laughs> 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 um, I, I tell you what, if you could give me the option to have no... No. What do you want? I hate my back hair. I hate it. Laura's getting her full dolphin pube thing done. No. From this would fucking... be, your eyebrows are gone with this. No, yeah. I, yeah You've got no beard either. You, you look, look like Matt Lucas. You look like you look like Neo in the Matrix. I don't want yeah. that. But I will look You look I'm... like a body positive mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a nut like a Prestonian Michelin man. <laughs> Keep coming. <laughs> oh my god. You, you look, look like... like an albino Mr. Blobby. You look like Dr. Zoyberg. Um I genuinely do look like Dr. Zoyberg naked. Um, you look like Mash. In <laughs> <laughs> <And> a Johnny. <laughs> mash in a Johnny. Uh, I will down. go for pub I'll go for pub hairs. Yeah. yeah. Of course you would. I'd if, love you to get If they came back again. curly, genuinely, they'd be very like fins. I'd look look at that. But my pubes are straight as an arrow. Straight <laughs> pubes, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but not too long. In no. what in what direction? Up. <laughs> up? Yeah, like outwards. Like Robbie Williams. It's like not, a, not up. Like gel. Your pubes aren't growing up. You what the fuck Have are you got talk- a big hedgehog cock? What? Finn, I know, I know I'm not- grow out? Like up? Like from the skin up? Listen, Finn, I know I'm not, I'm your boss and I'm not going to say this. <laughs> yeah. Can I see your pubes? <laughs> yeah, get your yeah, mons at out. the end of the record. No, get your mons no, out. No, now. Come on. No. Just get Just your mons out. Come on. We won't look at it. Don't Let's, look at this right. pube. Matthew, do not turn the for camera the around. No Can't tribunals. Do this no Can't. tribunals. No tribunals. Can't do this. <laughs> no, Matthew, you can't be filming this bit. This is a private pube check. Look at Adam. This is a very... Oh, I want to see them as well. Show hang me. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Whoa! Oh, why? I want to have a look Hang at that. Hang on, no, with your bollocks or mons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not consent to that. That's the end of the podcast. It doesn't look like there's any difference. It's all just one. Yep. Oh, my God. You've got pubes up to your fucking nose. you got your cock out. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to see anyone else's pubes today, guys. There you go. I haven't shaved for a while. Ever, anywhere? Any pubes reason? I, I never shave anywhere else. Just, I shave the inside know. of my legs. Yeah? Near me cock. Right. Because otherwise you just end up like with a really bald area and then this looks like it's... Yeah, you know what I mean? like you've got pants so I do on. like the inside of my legs there and I do... Uh, uh, I was... I get me manscaped. Yeah, Four point dollar mower. I, I do that on me on me mons. Word 20. But then I, I, I bake me dick. You bick your dick. We're not sponsored by Bick, by the way. Well, I actually Gillette me dick. Right. Or Harry's me dick. Whatever I've bought that week. I didn't want to see your pews. I mean, thanks for sharing, but... You see mine later then. All right, nice one. Uh, Finn, would you rather live in Istanbul, Turkey, or Merthyr Tidville? Uh, oh. In both cases, you cannot go... In all cases... Oh, sorry, Istanbul, Turkey, or Merthyr Tidville, Wales. Right. Um, so you can choose Where's to live in one of these Central? places. South Wales. South like, Wales? Like by the valley, isn't it? Is that... I think Merthyr Tidville is like by is the valley. Isn't it Abergavenny? I'm not sure. I don't know myself. He's talking really about the Brecon Beacons, Brack and Beacons down there. Who's Merthyr Tidville? Merthyr Tidville. They Isn't used to play Harry in Potter? the... Merthyr Tidville used to play in the Vauxhall Conference. It's about 23 miles north of Cardiff. Oh, I know it well. Merthyr. What's the question? Not an Would you rather thing, live it? in Istanbul just an or Merthyr Tidville? In both cases, you cannot go the further than 10 miles from the town city. Well, he's going to go fucking Istanbul, isn't it's he? This person got special needs. Yeah, he's asking questions. Finn? Uh, got... Can I do the pod remotely? Sky oh, pod. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be. Yeah, we'll zoom you in. Cool. All fucking up pubes is gone. He's right here, then. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> uh, Carl, would you rather speak every language but only be able to use the equivalent of a toddler's ability mm. or lose a testicle in, a, in an ice skating accident? <laughs> He's put mountain bike in accident, but it feels like it's too, too perfect. Uh, so you can speak every language, but it's... Very Even English? Yeah. But I speak it like a toddler? Yeah. Or... You can lose a bollock, lad. Or yeah, you lose. lose a testicle in an ice skating accident. You, t you take him one bollock down. I lose there. a bollock, yeah. Yeah, Otherwise, don't. I'm never going to get to use my bollocks ever again, am I? No. Yeah, yeah. I'm losing a bollock. All right, cool. Don't, don't One bollock is enough for most women. Yeah. Is that a fact? Yeah. All right, cool. Some of the adverts. For bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> that was 46 minutes of speed round. <laughs> One more section. We need to do another section. No guests today. Couldn't be asked booking anyone. Well, it's that gooch. We're in the gooch, aren't we? Between Christmas and New Year, people have got... We shave the gooch. Using what? Manscape 4.0. Use code WORD10. If I were you, you get 30% off. WORD20. WORD20. I wouldn't use WORD10. And you get free worldwide shipping. What a stupid idiot if you haven't got one. And that's from my guy with two testicles. Merry Christmas, everyone. Ah, oh, I get the Christmas present I wanted, which was doing an advert on my own. And it's Stitch Fix, my absolute favourite sponsor. Stitch Fix is a digital service that helps you kit yourself out with clothing, shoes, all sorts, and you'll look really stylish without having to go through the hassle of actually shopping in person because people are dickheads. You get to cut that out. You go online at stitchfix.co.uk slash word, set up your account. It's very visual. You get to pick out all the styles you want from the pictures. Basically, tell them what you usually like, and then they send you suggestions. You pay just £10 each time you order, which is credited towards the items you keep, and you'll get 20% off the whole order when you keep all five items. There's no subscription required. Get started today at stitchfix.co.uk slash word and get 20% off when you keep all five items. That's stitchfix.co.uk slash word. Get on me. It's great. It's good. Try it. You'll be like, oh, I like these. Not sure about these. They look good. I like it. You should too. Merry Christmas. God bless. Do you have any hopes for the year? No. <laughs> no, you know what I mean though? Like anything that you can't really actively like do anything about, but you just hope happens to you, your family, or your loved ones. Or me. Um I hope um 
for the, what for the world <laughs> yeah just stuff you hope happens victory for the ukraine in the euros in the euros in the in the in 2023 euros. euros um yeah to, for putin to lose and uh my next door neighbor to sell his house and if that could be in a combined that would be fucking brilliant russia have lost fuck it i'm selling the house to Putin because he needs to escape Russia. And oh, and then, to you. But then oh. I get Vladimir Putin. Imagine though, if Putin is right next door to you and you get on really well. Yeah. Go down the fucking Greyhound with Putin. That is 100% <laughs> uh, the doc, um, a sitcom. rom Not a rom com, sitcom. sitcom. <laughs> rom com. Rom com. <laughs> Putin and Dan in the pub. I fall in love <laughs> with Vladimir Putin after he loses a war in, with oh, Ukraine. Russian. <laughs> Go on. Russian. Do you Russian? I'm in the pub with Dan. Oh, got it. It's, Sounds it's like good. George Zach. <laughs> I can't believe I lost to Ukraine, but now I'm having sex with the 41 year old comedian, isn't it? <laughs> He's had to leave his wife, That'd but he's BBC moved three. next door with me, Vladimir Putin. That's the BBC Three Avers. Boxed. Hopes for the year. I hope. By the way, you hoped Messi would win the World Cup. Yeah, I've hoped that for years. I hope Everton go into administration and fall. <laughs> <laughs> Just to point you out, you're missing it. He's not even hoping Everton turn the season round. I hope, he <laughs> genuinely, if Everton ceased to exist, I would be 80% happier. <laughs> genuinely, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care if it didn't exist anymore. Football. It's fun. Um, what happens if they go into administration? Do you go? Do you get deducted twenty points or something? Deduct us all the points. I hope. I hope. I hope the whole place blows up, but no one's hurt. What? No one's hurt. Imagine Except, get... no Farad Mishiri and Bill Kenwright. I hope they get burns. Right. <laughs> <laughs> From an explosion <laughs> that they were in. No, they're nearby. Yeah. They're no. Nearby. Fucking hell, top Bill, innit? Ooh, you bent your arm. <laughs> no other staff were in I the hope, building. I hope Farad Mishiri's wife leaves him. I'm glad that ended softly though. I thought it was going to be. <laughs> because, of the, because of the burns. Yeah. One of your hopes. <laughs> yeah. I hope that um, Britain is represented by someone really funny at Eurovision. I really want us to do it. We haven't planned enough. It's soon, isn't it? Yeah, but I think I feel like we could win. I, I feel, like, it's I feel like we're letting your ADHD run too much of the company. <laughs> Uh, just to let you know, guys, in the break, <laughs> in each break of today's episode, we have come up with about 48 different plans that cannot all be achieved. Nah, they're all good. We're going to change the world next year. You watch. You'll be yeah. watching that. Yeah. But we're, not, we're not going to listen to your time. There's no, no need to buy any other songs. Don't hide away. That baby is. And if you're fucking Vladimir Putin. Um, I hope Liverpool signs you Bellingham, but I also hope for world peace. <laughs> but if they don't, if he goes to Real Madrid, war. world war, <laughs> yeah. invade Spain, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> Barcelona joining, they'd be well happy about it. Oh yeah, free it's Catalonia. Catalonia. Yeah, are What's they like the Northern Ireland of Spain? <laughs> no, they're like no. the Scotland of Scotland. Did what Scotland wanted to do? No, yeah, they are. They want independence. Uh, no. Are they uh, the Palestine really. of Israel? Aren't they more like <laughs> no. the Cornwall of Spain? Like Does or... Cornwall want independence? Yeah. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. yeah. They're like Liverpool of Spain. Yeah. It's a bit more like that. I don't think Scot I mean Scotland They had an independence vote. When was Catalonia ever an independent country? Scotland was has been a country historically on its own before it was part of a United Kingdom. I don't know what I'm on about, but I think Scotland. But yeah, they. I. Th I think some of them would be pretty happy for it. So we'll. So are we invading? Yeah. So have a word. We'll invade invade Spain. Yeah, nice one. Not Catalonia though, because their sound. I wouldn't mind a World War Three as long as like it didn't affect me. I told you I'm weird with the morbid news, like watching the news and that. As long as no one dies, but everyone's like threatening each other. World War Three, no one dies and it doesn't affect you. I'd love a World War Three. You know, a few burns. <laughs> Just you know, a couple of burns. No, do you know when they're all on telly chatting shit and And everyone's like, oh, what's his name? Kim Young. Is it? Oh, no, Ill. Which one is it? Ooh, uh, John. John. Kim Young John. Kim Young John. <laughs> it's the new one. <laughs> it's Little Kim. It's when... <laughs> <laughs> Little Kim. It's Young Ki Little Kim. I love when they're all chatting shit at each other. It's fucking so great. 
No. <laughs> She's in that, isn't she? Yeah. The lineup for Moulin Rouge. Lil Yes, Lil Kim, yeah. yeah. So is Kim Jong un <laughs> So is Kim Jong un <laughs> Lil Kim Jong un <laughs> It's his sister. Oh no, it's pink. Um I'd love to see Pink Live, you know. <laughs> There's another hope. hope for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> With Jude Bellingham. Google it. She's definitely live in Europe somewhere. Pink's fantastic. Apparently she puts on a hell of a show. Further stink me. <laughs> we'll go to Pink twice and we'll go yeah, to yeah. that once. We'll go in, in June. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pink she's and the stink. Are you taking your nan? Go on. Let's have a look. Oh my God, she's actually... She's Bolton. Bolton. <laughs> she's playing the University of Bolton. She's playing the Reebok. Yeah. Stay the Reebok. Born for Sunderland. Sorry, just go up. <laughs> oh God! I genuinely thought she was playing the University of Bolton. Is that what they've called the Reebok Stadium? Yeah, Reebok. Lock. Pink's massive, isn't she? She's doing a fucking stadium she's like five tour. Foot seven. She's she's doing Sunderland. She's uh, not that big. She's doing the Stadium of Life four times. Yeah, yeah she's pretty big. Two days at Hyde Park. It's only one stand though. Oh, I'm going to Bolton. Me. <laughs> I've played See it. Pink. Student Union. <laughs> <laughs> 7th of June, am I free? Are we in Tenerife? No, we're in Tenerife, aren't we? No, that's the week after. Yeah, this what this episode is. <laughs> More plans. <laughs> Don't go and see Pink. We should be Pink. I'm going to see the Arctic Monkeys on the 10th of June. What a week that'd be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get me... Finn, get me some tickets for Pink, please. <laughs> right, you carry on doing a podcast while Finn bangs his <laughs> Pink tickets. Podcast? Podcast. <laughs> Oh, 230 quid each. Oh, she's a daft bitch. Fuck her. <laughs> Jesus, Carl. 230 pounds to go to Bolton. <laughs> you can buy half the stadium for that. <laughs> I'm telling you, <clears throat> I'm, I'm getting on. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to figure that out. Give someone a message. I'm going to show them things where the price gets pushed up due to the demand. Oh. That's disgusting, that, by the way. No, that, I reckon it's probably worth it. You think about the amount of effort that goes into a pink show. I do always think about that. Yeah. <laughs> Five come out at the end. I <laughs> have what? He shan't do the stink. <laughs> Tell me right now that that wouldn't improve any show. You can watch fucking... Uh, Go on. Live action. <laughs> what? The you can watch like a Schindler's List stage show. And if they brought five out at the end, you'd be what? like... That's what <laughs> you can... Imagine <laughs> Everybody, yeah, all the Jews rise. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. And there used to be five of them, and now, now there's three. That's a bit on the nose. Get on up. <laughs> Carl's getting this fucking podcast cancelled. Can we do some advice? I am Adam, I'm here to help. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> We'll the Schindler's June, List live. Oh. <laughs> West End. Bring the family. <laughs> it's, a, it's a musical. Not wrong with a uh, sad musical. What about Les Mis? It ends well. With five. <laughs> <laughs> Jean Valjean is the fifth. Knowledge that he made. <sighs> Sharp knowledge. Uh, Tanya Hall says, I've always liked to... Um, I've, <laughs> I've always liked a little slap and tickle, emphasis on the slap, but my new fella isn't into it. Any advice on how to get a bloke into spanking? Piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're fucking him. Stop tickling it. Like your cock's tiny and your brother's is bigger. you fucking belt you then. Full assault. <laughs> what if she you just... That's what she wants though, isn't what it? If it's not just, assault if she wants it. What if she just cries? <laughs> what? What if she just cries? Well, then you fucked her. <laughs> That's on you. You move on. I don't know how to fucking turn men on, do I? I'm trying my best here. 2023. Things that Adam wants to do. What are your hopes for 23? Just learn about uh, men. And turning them on. Not because I'm gay. Because I love knowledge. Plus, I'm going to a Pink concert. Pink's first album is understood. <laughs> Stands the test of time, by the way. Family portrait. Oh, In our family portrait. portrait. We look pretty. <laughs> Dear Mr. You President. You can look at me, I'm on board with this. I like pink. What else yeah. have you got on that album? Don't let me get me. 
Oh, the- it started on that album. Laura, yes, if you want me to is. slap you during sex, <laughs> play Pink's first album, yeah, the Misunderstood. Party started and I will slap, right now. slap the Never CD case at place. your fucking hand. Don't support the team. Can't take directions on my socks are never clean. Why is she Oh, she's like, she, like a pill. This is my voice. Like a pill. Just like a pill. Just like a pill. Just like a pill. Just like a pill. My parents hated me. Just one not better. I was always <laughs> in a fight because I can't do nothing right. <laughs> Quite Every can't. day I fight Why are you a singing war it, against the mirror. Why are you doing that on purpose? Can't take Fuck the person lad. standing back at me. Fuck I'm a hazard to myself. Nah, there you go. American, there you go. Don't let me get me. I own me. Showing you and know yourself. <laughs> yourself. No way to Satan. All right. Don't right, want right, to be my right, friend no more. Right, I want to be somebody Bloody else. Hell. Got it. So, uh, Tanya, play pink. <laughs> <laughs> and your vag will dry up real quick. No, so, hang on. Your She's asking to be spanked or is it across the boat? I think he... Um, <laughs> it sounds like he's just not... Uh, he's just a bit vanilla. And she uh, she's into what a bit are you of. I've been with many a woman who like a slap across the face. No, she wants to slap and tickle. You want to tickle someone's face in sex. I you? love getting my face tickled. Jordan sex. Yeah, it turns me on a bit. Right. What about slapped? <laughs> I don't like being slapped. Oh, slapped me in the face. A woman once slapped me so hard that I thought she'd burst me in from Jordan's uh, I think when she says spanking, I don't think she means <laughs> assault. I think you've gone to, yeah, just fucking blasting in the face. No, I haven't. I haven't slapped you anyone. You literally see that? <laughs> what? What are you I, talking about? I thought she wanted a fucking slap around the old bow face. No. Race. <laughs> Cough me Mate, if you ever meet race. someone and she goes, I want to get into a bit of spanking, don't be like, fuck off then. You move me pink CD. <laughs> I'm not doing the fucking washing up. How have you gone to slapping in the face? Because that's what the women I've been with who like getting slapped don't want their hand anywhere near their ass. They want it fucking in the gob. Spanking is not the face, mate. No, no I didn't. Did like a bit of a choke. Yeah. Fuck, it's, got, it's got aggressive. This, a lot it? of women, modern women, like being choked and slapped in the face consensually. I'm not condoning violence. I'm condoning a little sexy fucking whoop. I, I thought that's what she was into because that's my lived experience. You don't know me. Slap and tickle. You want to tickle us? She wants him to tickle her bum. <laughs> I love getting tickled. Tanya, we can't help. I mean, Why? if you want to get knocked out, <laughs> if not- you want, if you want, to, if you want your jaw broken, we've got answers. But when it comes to spanking, we're not sure. I Listen, haven't said anything. Put you spank, will you spank me on the ass? Yeah, fucking will. Yeah, right <laughs> <in the> fucking <laughs> kidney. <laughs> I thought that's what you wanted, lad. Let's sing some pink. You're never on your own, lad. <laughs> Fucking drink the kidneys, meat. Get off from that. So when I've said that all, I've just said that I've been with women who like getting belted in the gob. <laughs> it's not what I said at all. I'm just saying belt them in the gob. <laughs> That's, it's not the man who's wrote in. It's the woman. She wants to be slapped. She's asking for no. it. Literally. A bit of slap and tickle doesn't instantly go face. You've heard, you've, you've seen, you've read... Slap and tickle. Dead leg or something, isn't it? Slap and tickle's just a bit of... Bit of roughage. I think what we're saying is spanking. I think spanking is the key word. Any man who's not willing to just slap your ass a little bit isn't worth your time. You can't be from behind and not slap the ass. Yeah. That's, That's just it. there, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is a really good point. Yeah, if you, if you don't... If I much, ever see yeah. a bit of ass, I'm slapping it. If I'm within slapping the radius. I want to stay away from my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if I was there, I'd be slapping that ass. I, <laughs> yeah, I think when it comes to when it comes to sex, if you're with a guy <laughs> who's not into a bit of spanking, well, what not be slapping? What's the, it even the, there the for? Thing. I think that's what it was designed for. I think God has given the touch. Have for you ever walked the, up behind Lord on the stairs and not slapped her on the ass? There's certain days. I struggle not to do it to people, and I'm including men, like on an escalator. In the shop. There's an ass there, I'm just like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why Debenham's closed down. <laughs> um, yeah, Tanya, come on, man. I mean, you, you might be nice. Get him to Tanya butt. There you go. <laughs> and that's the end of that one. <laughs> We've got another one from a uh, lady. Uh, <laughs> Is that Nikki's wife? 
if you want to do it, you'll be fine. just take a moment to consider that this is like our job. <laughs> We're not doing this for a laugh. Like, this is how we pay our rent. <laughs> pay your uh, utility bills. Mary Lewis says, advice on how to, someone's, uh, to ruin someone's life. Wagwan fellas. Got so I've been dating a guy for the last four months. It was a long distance as he lived in Devon. I lived in Swansea. Everything was going brilliantly. We talked kids, marriage, buying a house, etc. Until I had a message from a girl telling me she had also been in a, relation, a relationship with him since August. As you can imagine, I was fucking furious. However, it gets worse. Under the two girls message Getting me. Get a phone call from Tarpoli. <laughs> Who? Tar- Tarpoli. It's Tarpoli. Tarpoli. Hello? Loudspeaker. Loudspeaker. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to call me back later. Uh, I'm just in the middle of work at the moment. Is that okay? Thank you. Bye. Yeah. I wonder why Dan keeps saying, turn your phones off. <laughs> well, I was hoping it was going to be one of those, have you been in a car accident? And it would have made really good podcast material, Dan. Okay. Who Unfortunately, it? it's Carden Park Spa where I've booked myself in for a spa day in February. Yeah. Good luck finding it in Tarpaul, eh? <laughs> 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 it's Tarpaul, Um... So everything was going brilliant. We talked kids, marriage, buying a house until I had a message from a girl telling me she had also been in a relationship with him since August. As you can imagine, I was fucking furious. However, it gets worse. Another two girls messaged me about him and told me how he's well known around his area for being a serial cheat and was being um, and for being a gaslighting cunt. Ooh. Then went on to find out he's uh, been known to go to his local nightclub and try to spike girls' drinks. I feel like just blocking and deleting this creep isn't enough, so need advice on how to ruin his, his call life. The call the police. Yeah, call the police. As he has now ruined me for all men and don't think I will trust a man again, <coughs> I'm, willing to, I'm willing to go as far as possible. Maybe not murder, though. I'm too pretty for jail. Thanks, Mary. Well, the spiking thing is... Uh, criminal. Uh, yeah, it's criminal, but you can't get someone arrested by ringing the police up and going, I've heard via two messages that someone's been spiking drinks. You can get them on a watch list or something. Is that yeah. how it works? Someone, you need to tell someone something. <laughs> tell the bar. someone son. Tell the bar. Go see this fella here. Yeah, he's been spiking girls' drinks. Don't let him in no more. Bam. Yeah, but she lives in Swansea and he lives in Devon. Right, just get Go the train. to Devon. Get the train to Devon. Go to Devon and arrest him. Citizens <laughs> arrest because you've heard he's spiking drinks. How could she? How's a scorned ex? What would be good? What, s- s- sign him up to a uh, direct debit to Eon. And if he's anything like Carl, a banana in his, his life. tailpipe. His ass. <laughs> Put bananas in his tail's pipe. I've seen Beverly Hills Cop. I'm not going to fall for no banana in the tailpipe. Now I know a real one of them. <laughs> you put cod liver oil tablets in someone's exhaust pipe. And over time, it melts, which causes a, 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 um, a layer of oil, which causes black smoke. When they take their car to the garage, the garage will go, there's nothing wrong with your car. But constantly, there'll be black smoke coming out the back. That'll cost them consultation bills. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get for spiking girls' drinks. Yeah. I'd spike him. I'd get him to Swansea, lure him and say, listen, I uh, I miss you. I miss what we had, all the sexuality, you know. And I've got a friend here who's into threesomes. <laughs> <laughs> all the sex- I'll just take you. I'll just take you. I'll just take you. And I'd spike him, <laughs> strip him naked and dump him in a primary school. Closed primary school. <laughs> just in the playground. If she's not broken up with him, she holds a lot of cards there. Yeah. I really feel like, what, where would you, if you spi- spiked him, where where could you, what could you do? Good, good, good guys. You could book him in to tarpauli. Stab him. <laughs> okay. You just need to set up a, a, an entrapment for him, don't you? So that he does some of his dirty work and he gets arrested. What, a, a full sting? Yeah. To form a community group with these other girls. Yeah. <laughs> the Angry Birds. Yeah. The yeah. Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> it's been done. Yeah. Hang on. Has he spiked any of them? Because then they could be called the Powder Stuff Girls. The Dazzo, <laughs> they spiked them with their fingers. That's why they went mad, didn't they? Carl, stab him. <laughs> yeah, just drug him and then murder him. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said you didn't want to murder him. Cut his dick off. Cut his dick off and send it to his mum. <laughs> Oof. That's you twist. raised it, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
There you go, Mary. <laughs> tell tell some authority. <laughs> tell the police that you think this man one. is assaulting women. Like, t- don't tell us because we're going to be dickheads. Tell the police. It doesn't matter if it's just hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> Pure and simple. <laughs> Ring the fucking. Just tell someone who needs to. Threaten them. Say you're going to follow them. Say wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be there. Whatever you do. You know I'm going to be there. Pure and simple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there watching you. Oh, don't, little twist on the end. Don't put nothing in the bevies. Is that their other hit? That's, no, that's it's your the remix. remix. All right. Um, one more advice. Did they have any other songs here, sir? No, they folded quick and they all joined Cody. <laughs> one of them. Kim Marsh. They had Spike him and leaving him in a primary school. <laughs> Did you remember that one? It didn't do well. No. <laughs> didn't do well. Um, <laughs> this one's from Anonymous. I'm 20 and the girl I'm currently in a fling with is a bit of a lady shagger, e.g. She's got with two of my mates. I've denied her for about two years now, but the other week I crumbled and gave in to her constant flirting. We've kept seeing each other and I actually quite like her. Need some advice on whether you reckon it's okay to keep going uh, or if her getting with my mates previous and her numbers being hilariously higher than mine means it's probably better to <laughs> bin it off. So. Why would that ever be a problem? You've got an experienced cock smuggler. She'd be fucking yeah. boss in bed. Yeah, but would you see someone smuggler. who had already been seeing Carl? <laughs> no, but that, she hasn't been seeing him. She's just shagged him. Someone who shagged Carl and Carl wasn't asked. Yeah, yeah go for it. If he's an experienced cock handler, you take you, you need them in your life. She'll do things <laughs> to your death. They're only a wizard now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She'd smoke it off the injured. You wouldn't get it back for six weeks. That sounds like it's a pretty clear... Fucking go for it. Stop in and grow up with this numbers thing, by the way. Fuck off. No one cares. Oh, she's had, you've had sex with more people than me. Just sounds like your ego's been bruised, mate. Yeah, but that's because you're on two. No, so I, I'm, I, I'm messing that about. I'm I messing speak about. from a, a better place then, doesn't no, it? No, I'm messing I about. don't care. Said I could go to no, have sex with a whole rugby squad for all I care. I'm well, lucky for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean like, people are like, oh, you've had sex with more than my, Like, fuck off, grow up. How old are you? Four. Well, this sort of stuff bother you, Finn. Stab him. Single man, you meet a girl, and she's like, listen, just going to put this out there. I've been all round drill and round Liverpool. So, just so you know, my numbers are in the hundreds. And we play a, r- a lot of rugby in Wales. <laughs> yeah. When wink, she wink. said this, though, <laughs> what? at what point of the interview? After she sat down. <laughs> how, how old is this lady if it's in the hundreds? She's 48. No, no she isn't. She's, she's your, your age. age. She's my age, and it's in the hundreds. She was born on the same day, and that's what you've bonded over. Mental. We're on the cusp. You were both given stuff. half a medallion yeah. at birth. <laughs> you, both, you went related. You both. It's you know, so real. Forever <laughs> friends in the maternity ward. Um, I think it would depend on, I don't know, it, feel, it feels weird to say it, but it, it, it would depend on the amount. Because I think if it is like 300, then you'd be like, <laughs> wow, this, this, that's some good going. But yeah. she's had a pussy job and it looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, if she's had a pussy job, I'm in. What's the difference between having sex with 300 men and having sex with one man 300 times? Um, variation in skill and girth. No, but I mean, oh, it's, the, it's the same. <laughs> Fucking hell. What? <laughs> I don't know. What's wrong with that? A, like, I can't ask the question and I had the answer. Uh, just just, because just you've banged around doesn't mean your fucking exactly. flaps are in tatters, lads. Exactly. I'm saying a, that. I'm yeah. saying that, yeah, yeah. You can have sex with the same person 300 times and you're no less of a I'm, I'm a not lady. saying that at all. I'm just saying if you do sleep around, there will be a variation in girth and skill. Some <laughs> men will have massive dicks and be shit in bed. Some will have tiny little wieners, but they'll be great in bed. And there'll be everything in between. I honestly think Carl's right. You've just got to... It's not important, man. Doesn't Can't matter. She wants you now, so you take the most of it or someone else will. But I remember being 20 and this is the sort of shit that I wasn't... Like, I would have thought, oh, if you've bonked Bondi and Sean, like, it would be on my mind. I think when you get older, you're like, who gives a fuck? But when you're 20 and you're in the same group of mates and everyone knows each other in your town, it's the kind of stuff that does register with you. I think you've got to go to your mates who she slept with (laughs) and all get your dicks up and make sure yours are the biggest. (laughs) That's an option. And then I'd be okay with it. Yeah, or just try and get your numbers up. Just go on an absolute shagathon. No, he's fell in love here, hasn't he? he Four four months. Talking about kids, isn't it? That was a different question. (laughs) (laughs) I knew it was as I said it. Anyway, she's been spiking people. (laughs) I think. Yeah, I just spunk her. That's what she wants. Tell the police. (laughs)
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And where does she live in Istanbul? Or Merthyr Tidville? <laughs> I don't know, man. Weird question. Hang on. The bricklayer's on the phone. Hello? <laughs> It's oh, you're, man, you're laying a tarpaulin. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. A bit old school. Get twenty percent off. Um, yeah, just get over it, man. If she's if she's great, she's great, isn't it? Yeah, she wants you now, so you make the most of her. It's nice, isn't it? But, Have words, but, but you know, but Serica, it'd be fine if she'd bonked a whole rugby team. I, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. It wouldn't have been put me off. If you'd have gone me numbers, you know, how many is in a rugby team? 15. 15. 15. I wouldn't be like, oh no, go away. Netball. And is that a gangbang or 15 separate dates? Why would you tell me you had a gangbang? Because <laughs> <laughs> you asked me you had any gangbangs. <laughs> I wasn't asked. <laughs> First date. All cards on the table. I have been on a rugby That's tour. That's a question for you. What? Right. Let's say Laura left you. Yeah. Right. Laura's bailed. Nice. <laughs> Laura's bailed. Yeah. She has, uh, I don't know, where's she gone? She has gone to... Tarpoli. Krakow. Krakow? Yeah. Krakow. Krak- I call it Krakow. Yeah. Krakow. <laughs> you call it Tarpoli. <laughs> She's gone to Poland. Right? Gone to, I call it Poland. She went on, like, to, to do, like, the touristy stuff. She went to all the camps and stuff. She felt really sad. And she thought, <laughs> no, I'm going to stay in Poland. She's like, I could have seen the musical about this. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> do, do, do. You're do, on do, the do, list, do, do. but your dad is not. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, does that happen? What? Is that part of the film? I can't remember. It's been ages since I've watched it. Plus, it wasn't so, musical enough for me. I lost interest. <laughs> so she's staying in Alexander Poland. Alexander Hamilton, say the Jews. <laughs> is, that, is that right? <laughs> That's in the trailer, isn't it? Yeah. Um, listen, so she's staying in Poland. Yeah. Right? Because while out there, she's she met in love a with tour guide. A tour guide. Right? <laughs> Whose uh, great-grandmother was a victim of the... Right, and uh, well, I'm glad the Holocaust. I'm She's glad. had another story. I'm glad we've mentioned it so many times. <laughs> right, she fell in love with the story. Tell it again, <laughs> and she's staying out there. And you've accepted her wishes, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you've gone. Got well, I can't up. really compete, you know, because <laughs> yeah. my, you know, great grandmother was a greengrocer. It's not as exciting, is it? She well. sell parts or actual like edge. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, she was a weed dealer. <laughs> In the 1920s. <laughs> well, people were potting off back then. Weren't oh, they? disco yeah, vegetables. Of it. Yeah. If Peaky Blinders has got anything to go by, it's fucking loads of cocaine knocking about as well. Um, <laughs> so you start dating. Right, you're on the apps. Match eHarmony. All the ones. All the what? You're on all the Match dating apps. Match eHarmony for the old people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. You can't go on Bumble, can you? Can I not? No. No, I'm not. I'm a too old for Tinder. Yeah, Tinder's a sex crime if I go on it. No, it? <laughs> yeah. it is. Shag, got, it, shagmyauntie.co.uk. Point is, go on. we all know. <laughs> Wait, why do you want to shag your own aunt? <laughs> <laughs> why go on a website to do it? <laughs> Ringer. <laughs> it's a website I've started just to get my auntie laid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like cats? <laughs> um, <laughs> When you start seeing a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, my head's in Poland. <laughs> no, you're over there now. Fucking Laura was at Dachau like, God, he's fit. <laughs> Laura, you've not been concentrating on what he was giving you a tour about. You're, you're over that. Come. She's long gone, mate. Right? <laughs> I missed that one. It was a b- beautiful moment. Beautiful moment. She needs to go to a concentration camp. Because she wasn't concentrating on. It was, it was great. It deserved that. Do you know that's what they were called? Which? During the war. Who? Doesn't matter. Oh. It's still good, even if you didn't know. Guys, can we put a veto on the Holocaust for today? Come on. <laughs> that's how it ended. <laughs> we've, we've hit our limit. Of that our was li- Christmas Day when they played footy. <laughs> Hitler was like, Shit, can we put a veto enough. on this, please? Um, Christmas Day. So you start oh, seeing God. some women in that. It's the First World War. Did, did my head in that court. <laughs> and on the, on the first date, the woman's like, Dan. Yeah. God, that's how I like them to speak. Flan. <laughs> She's like, Zan, can we put some air? Uh, I fancy a bit of flap and tickle. I've, I've, got, a, I've got a bit of a past. Right. I've, I've, you know, I've been through many men. Where are tits falling off? 
Go on. No, she's holding two pint glasses. <laughs> Can you just, you're ruining my romantic moment with my future She's trying wife. to bring several packs of crisps back from the bar. Right. <laughs> I'm already in love. <laughs> she's like, Dan, I just want to let you know before this goes any further, because I can feel myself falling in love with you. First date? Yeah. <laughs> Fuckmyauntie.co.uk <laughs> really worked. I've been, I've got a bit of a past and Have I want to know. Do you want to know anything about it? Or do you want to just live in ignorance and bliss? Ignorance and bliss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Basically, do you want to know? Do I, you... do I want to know your body count? What's your, what's your name, by the way, gorgeous? John. <laughs> Nathine. <laughs> John Nathine. <laughs> she sounds like a Viking. <laughs> I went for, and I went for a woman's name. John shit. Athene. <laughs> Jonathan. 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 Good name. Uh, do I want to know your body count, John? Do you want to know the details Jonathan. of what I've been up to? All the <laughs> details. The, the the all the group sessions I've had. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hang Calm on. down, Jonathan. Also, your crisps are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Your tits have fallen out. No, hang on. Body, like, is it just a, a body count? or do, do, do I, you want, What details do you I want from the, a partner? The full sex autobiography. You don't want to know? Genuinely, I don't even want to know body count. Really? Oh, um, I, you know that, Laura's? Uh, no. Oh, right. No. I, you don't need, I don't ever need to, to hear those stats. Would that bother you? What? If she said this is X amount, would you go, would you? Would you care? Yeah, maybe I would. Maybe I would, but why do you want to know? What's the, what, what, what number does it become a problem? <laughs> 42,000. So be 173, like, you're like, I'd be like, no problems. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I genuinely don't know what, no, I, I don't think I'm in any position to to judge anyone's promiscuity. Yeah. I, I'm, but you don't want to know. But I, if I, the only, the only thing that might set your head off is like, hang on, if I want a serious relationship with someone, are they are they going to be happy for a bit and then just want to wander? But I don't know. I just I just don't know what that bit of information does that's positive for yeah. for a new relationship. The line is forty two thousand. But I think, yeah, it's fucking it's, hell of a day at Ewood Park. I don't know. <laughs> I know Ewood Park. How long were you going through the list of clubs? Ewood. I reckon that's about right. No, I'd say no. Four, I think Ewood Park should be like I think 32. Ewood's 34,000 is my guess. Yeah, I'm going to say 32. I think it's less. I think it's like no, 29. It's, it's not 29. It's definitely over 30. I do know this. 31,367. Your boy knows capacities. Uh, 43,000 off the top of your head. St. James's Park's rather. No. It? No. It's more. There's not many. What's good is it? It's a weird mid 38. It's a weird middle ground. Anfield's what? 46, is it now? Something like that. No, 53 no. now, and it's about to oh, be 61. It, yeah. If there's a list, I could do it. I Google it every time we uh, <laughs> we hit a new milestone. Um, yeah, if she, yeah, if she could fill. <laughs> let me just let me just go for. There we go. 42,000 is. Actually, 43, boys. Yeah, sorry. So football, Stamford on Bridge. Stadium, Stamford 43, Bridge. actually. Guys. Stamford Bridge. Oh, 42. All right, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus, I hate Chelsea fans, so. Oh, I'll, be, I'll be fuming. But you don't want to know, and you don't care. I honestly... Oh, you I, don't want to know in case you care? I think that might be it, you know. I just don't want to be that cunt. Why do I need the information? Mm. I would... I, honestly, I've been... I, obviously, I've been with Laura for eight years. And even, to be honest, the few years before that, not a lot was going on. I'd sort of just... I was dating a little bit on and off, but I wasn't... But in my 20s, I was a right little rat. And I just... I don't want to be judged particularly for that and I'd, I wouldn't I'd then I just couldn't be this I wouldn't want to be the hypocrite that was like I'm sorry how many it's not good is it no it if you're in love with someone and you like them if sorry if you're in love with someone and you want to have a relationship I don't give a shit where you've been okay. although I don't know so if you would ever like had a dinner party and you overheard Laura being like oh yeah I used to suck dick for quavers you wouldn't be like hey you should have told me about that you'd just be like fine you, you had a right to keep that secret oh no Laura's a different set of rules this is all for Jonathan <laughs> Hang on, is it a Quaver's body count? Yeah. If I was at a dinner party with my wife of eight years, who's she talking to? 
<laughs> she's leaning over. Yeah, Reverend. I used to suck dick for quavers. Met Dan. He buys the quavers <laughs> and skips. I'm a lucky lady. Yeah, yeah. So you can lose weight. Would you? Do you want to know if you meet someone, and then do you do ever ever do the body count thing? No, because I'm not asked. I, I just I, I think you just don't want whatever they've done in the past doesn't matter, does it? But you don't want to know because in case it's just a bit. Ugh. It's like when we have Finn Taylor in and he's like, you can't shit on your wife. Like, if someone shit on my wife, that's fine as long as I don't know about it. And as long as it happened long before. Oh, hang on. Like, the, the body count, the, the actual number, whether you want to know it or not. But the the details, fucking nah, mate. I'm yeah. fine. I Laura went, listen, someone shit on my head once. Right on me fod. Right. <laughs> Over breakfast one day. Yeah. Would you Over, go? Oh God. It's always around mealtime with Laura, isn't it? <laughs> At a dinner party. Yeah, you suck dick for quavers. Enjoy your Rice Krispies. Here's a bit of information. Um, no, no, in the past, I never, I'd just like get over it. Like, okay, you're you with me now. Like, yeah, but like, what if like, she was like, oh yeah, he's taking it in the arse all the time, but I don't like it anymore. Okay, okay. Cool. There's someone out there that who's bummed your wife and you haven't. I just couldn't handle that. <laughs> if someone bumped my wife, <laughs> you know what I mean. No, it feels like if you're in love with someone, you spend the rest of your life with them. It's weird that she has done something with someone else. What? I don't know. If it, she was younger and now she's mature, I don't know. Yeah, put it this way: the wife that you've got in the future, yeah, someone's bummed her. <laughs> right, <laughs> just a fact. Yeah, maybe right now your future wife. As, is lo as, lo <laughs> as, as long as I, as long as I also get right to do now, the bumming. Someone's bumming your wife. <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. As long as I also get to do the bumming. Yeah. Well, hopefully my wife right now isn't sucking dick for quavers. That's the that's the that's the other point we want to take on. That's such a bleak thing. You never know. Your future wife could be bummed right now on a Thursday afternoon. It's for that Friday. <laughs> yeah. She's not a slag. <laughs> she waits for the weekend at least. You know. Bumming on a school day. Bumming's a weekend fucking move. I always thought that job before I bought, bought our house. I was like, someone's probably having sex in my bedroom right now. Yeah. But someone's probably bumming your wife. I Probably. <laughs> probably. It is a Friday. Um, do you ever think about that with hotel rooms? I have to, that, that, that becomes an intrusive thought that I'm not like that. But sometimes if I'm like in a hotel room in my head goes to what has happened in this bed, in this room with some horrible, like, and then I'm like, Ugh, I've got to stop thinking about it. Never thought of it. I've not, but I'm going to now. Did Tom scott has got a bit about it. When he, when he has a wank, he comes on the curtains because he knows he don't change those. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's call it episode. Good luck to uh, Adam's future wife, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I think we know. <laughs> And if you fancy some quavers, you know where I'm at. <laughs> um, vote for us. Have a word. Vote have a word dot com. Well, we've had it. We're going to add it to the start of the episode. But just to reiterate, the National Comedy Awards, it's massive for us. We really want to be nominated. Uh, there is a lot of big dogs in the pool getting voted for. And I would love it if us from North from Liverpool, had to be on Channel 4. Just please get Sensei Carl I'm taking flares. on Channel 4. Vote for us so I can say something on Channel 4. That will. I'm taking flares. Mate, if Channel 4 have to have sniffer dogs for flares... I'll, I'll call sniffer him. dogs. Have they got sniffer dogs, sniffer dogs? No, they probably don't, Carl. There you go. There you go. I'm taking quavers. If I get on Channel 4, know. I'll say something awful. Oh, you're not speaking on Channel 4. <laughs> I am. Oh, Carl. I'll take me on fucking radio, mic, mate. Oh, Carl. Like, if we win... I'll send me on radio, play me on music. Carl, you're not speaking. I am. You're, I'll call a celebrity out. Adam. What? If we win a National Comedy Award, yeah. Carl can't speak, can he? He can. Oh, no. Thank you. Are Who's... you doing the acceptance speech? No. You'd put it out. You could, you could leak something. I will. Brandish some information. I will. I'll rustle some feathers. <clears throat> Uh, let's call it an episode, shall we? This uh, this has been an absolute pleasure, ladies and gents. Music. Quick song. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Is it, is it from a, a Dublin-based hip-hop artist? This is from a South Walian metalcore band. Oh, where? Come on, Dublin. 
a fucking love. The fucking Dublin Mimes. We didn't get I any in. Time I, I was waiting. Cards. We've not had any Irish rapper. Oh, yeah, Irish hip hop. Where are you? Come um, on, bro. If there's any band called like Collapse the Void or something. No, not them. This is Collapse the Void. Um, Off I just said. <laughs> Uh, I don't play by your rules. Um, <laughs> this is a song called Deity. We've mi- we're mixing it up. We're playing some heavier stuff this week. It's been indie for a while. Oh, Go we back. don't mind mixing it up. Uh, we don't listen to it. This so is only on audio if you've been on YouTube. I listen to every song every week. <laughs> yeah. You, have, you got a playlist? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Love you guys. Appreciate you. Who wants to come and see Pink with me? Bye, Felicia.